Gucci. Win a pair of tickets. Come on, what's up, here, Eric? When we go in the open uh, with the song, hold till it says cold as ice. It's time for the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show, powered by Mercury Marine. To me, there's nothing better than to spend all of my time out on the water. With waterman Eric Brandon. Because that's where I get my kicks out on the water. And extreme angler Joe Hector. That is my residence. Call your resident fishing experts, Eric and Joe, at 866-801-0940 and get hooked up. You know where we'd be spending our weekend. Brought to you by Pompano Ford and Pompano Lincoln. An easy way to car. Don't waste my time or a single dime on something high and dry. Out on the water. Want to see the show live? Go to the Nautical Ventures Facebook page. It is cold as ice. Good morning to you. Co- come on, man. It's like 50-something degrees, That's okay? serious. Are you serious? I'm not like, talking God. to you, Gray. I'm it's not even about... like refrigerator temperature yet, okay? I start already. God darn it, man. What the, what's up here, man? <laughs> Jerk wad. Good morning, folks. It's the Nautical uh, Ventures Weekly Chili Fisherman Show here with my good friend Joe Jammin' Hector. Hello. Hey, Joey. Hi. Hey, doing, buddy? If you don't wear two jackets, man, is like unheard of on this radio show because you're I, I t- came prepared. You're Mr. Tough Jersey guy, bro. Yeah, yeah. You used to be down that chill on the ice and the sleet. I'm losing it. You got the guns all covered up today. This is like a first, uh-huh. bro. It, it's funny. I do I do a stream show on Friday night, yeah. and uh, a certain person who watches uh, Joe on a regular basis said, uh-huh. I bet he'll have shorts on and a T-shirt uh, tomorrow. <laughs> Guessed wrong. Could have been a cool, like, uh, you uh, know, like a cool prop bet, you know? Like, yeah, what's, yeah. What's Joe dressing like today, it's man? It's weird. I haven't worn this jacket since, like, 2008, but yeah, you know what? It like, still fits. Yeah, like, lint, lint on it and dog hair and stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's by, just, by the way, although yeah. we're going to be in the 30s tomorrow, I've got the National Weather Service radar map. I see that. Our yeah. friends who are around the country from the Carolinas all the way up to Maine, they're going to be in almost hurricane-type wind conditions with power outs, the six, like 70 million people affected, wow. and, and feet of snow and ice in, in some areas. It's insane. Well, wow. thank you, Jen, very much. It was very nice to be thank you. Welcome, Jennifer Gray Warren here. <laughs> Stephen J. Gray, good morning, you crazy man. Good morning. Happy Eric, Saturday, gentlemen. Back in the studio filling in for Ricardo. So the uh, crew's all here today, man. It's yeah. going to be an epic uh, radio show, despite the fact that it's kind of chilly and nasty. Yeah. Now, to refresh everybody's memory, your big tournament was supposed to be today. Yeah. yeah. And we you had smartly to, moved that sucker, did you? Yeah, we had to push it back to tomorrow on the uh, back end of the front. So, so far, it's looking like it'll be okay. Um, it's still going to be, I think they said, like 10 to 15. Um, it'll be cold, but at least it's not going to be blowing like 40 and uh, it's just insane. A lot so. of guys on the Facebook streamers uh, this morning are going like, hey, Joe, is this thing really happening tomorrow? Are we really still going? I mean, <laughs> they're actually logged. Your kayak guys are logged on oh, and, yeah. and asking, man, are we still doing this thing? Yeah. And, you, and you're yeah. going. You're doing it, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah. Now, how was the uh, pre-party last night? Oh, it was fun. It yeah. was a blast. Yeah. Well, with your bruise? Yeah, your yeah bruise? we were at Bruise Room in Pompano. Yeah. Right. Uh, we had a killer rap. We actually ran out of uh, raffle tif- tickets no last kidding. night. Yeah, I mean, I'm people sorry. were all was donating it, for the it, kids. Tiffits? Tiffits, yes. Tiffits. You like to pick up my verbiage? Okay. <laughs> oh, Pinhead? Okay. Tiffits. Nice. Tiffits. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. We ran out of raffle tiffits. And then... Um, some chicken wings and some Yeah, chow. we had wings. It was great, you know? I mean, everyone had a blast. Everyone was loud and, and enthused. And nice. I got on the mic and ever It was great. We had a really good crowd. A lot of guys from out of state. We have so many people That's very from cool. across the country. It, it's really amazing. And make sure we tell these guys who are out of state who think they've been into cold weather and are used to being, you know, chilly willy. Uh, when you're on the water tomorrow, guys, remember hypothermia can oh, be an yeah. issue. You've got to dress warmly for this thing because yeah. Joe's not going to let you launch no. unless you're dressed properly. Exactly. Okay? Yeah, we talked about that yesterday. You're making too. a safety man. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That. we're yeah. going to have the Coast Guard on the beach. Yep. And not only are we doing our kayak checks per kayak and marking them once they're checked off, right. but the Coast Guard is also going to be checking their gear good. and making sure that everyone's ready to go and uh, and they'll be okay. So, um, I just got one knock on you, man. Okay, thank you. It's cold as hell. You got two jackets on. You're yes. pretty well dressed, but you got flip flops on, man. On a, I mean, aren't your toes like nippy, dude? <sighs> 
You can't wear shoes, bro? Or do you even Eric, own a pair? We live in South Florida. Do you own a pair of shoes? Yes or no? 50, my truck said it's 57 degrees. But the windshield thing, sir. Dude, okay? Oh, please okay. calm down with this. Are okay. you kidding me? See, this, this is this is right here, okay, is the problem with the locals. They are just, <laughs> they are like, because I'm from New Jersey, right? So this is like a nice breeze. You know, you can have a little hot coffee, hang out for a little bit. Do you know something Eric's like, oh my God, it's a freeze. Dude, Look at that. Here's the thing. It's going to be getting colder as the morning goes on, not warmer, okay? Uh, just so you know. Oh, my god. It is going to be one of those days right. where it's going to get colder and colder. By the way. Yeah. Uh, uh -oh. Mr. Fisherman, yes. uh, with this front coming through, what does that mean for for everybody once this clears out today and tomorrow? What does what what, what surprises hey, are we going to have? Real quick, I talked to some caps last night, and they're saying tomorrow, Joe, because of this big snap, the sailfish should be, be fired yes. up, man. I know, fired up. It's going to be insane. <laughs> That's the thing. Yeah. Like the fishing tomorrow after this front it should be just should be just. Ridiculous. We got every finger crossed, yeah. man. So we're excited. Jimbo Thomas is He's we got on a one. hold. Uh, hold on that. I'm sorry. We don't have him yet. Oh, we don't have him yet. We do not have him yet. No. Okay. Any reason why we don't have him yet? Uh, not connecting. Oh, okay. So back that's to the why studio. Back to, back to the fishing talk here. Okay. Ah. And that's why. I, I, so do you think it, not, the, the, the fishing will be off the charts? Yes. The I mean, that's fish. my... For, I your, called, for your tournament... I called five captains last night. I picked every one of their brains. Everybody says tomorrow will yeah. be a fired up selfish day. Yeah. So that's I your agree. species, in case you guys are just tuning in. Mr. F Cat himself here, the genius who puts this kayak thing together, has got the selfish thing going on. Okay. Yeah. And you've got other species involved as well. You got the Mahi money. Mahi Nautical right. Ventures Division. That's another five hundred bucks. That's but with your entry. This is a selfish but it's a selfish driven tournament, tournament yeah. right? Yeah. Selfish tournament. Catch and release. So the guys will be out there and uh you launch at what time? What time actually your first kayak blows we're, off shore? We're gonna uh launch at seven thirty, but I also told them Let's kind of wait and see just how it is. Because it is kind of up in the air a little bit about, um, because there's front after front after front, if you if you go and look back, right. we have this one blowing through, right? right? And then it's like a dip, so yeah. it's it, it gets always nicer after the front. Okay. You get the, the cold weather, but it's going to be a clear day, nice right. day, where today it's going to be kind of raining and windy and nasty. Right. But then there's another front behind that one okay. uh, coming like midweek. So I feel like when there's bumps like that, yeah. it's never really a spot on accuracy when it comes to weather. Okay. Hey, um, by the way, Eric, check your text. You may have given uh, uh, Eric, our producer, a number of an auto parts store instead of Jimbo's number. So you oh, might want to check. No, no. I actually checked it this could morning. Be, could He's be a minor home. problem. No. Why we're not getting Jimbo on here. Jimbo okay? Thomas him, goes, I'm here. Okay. You got him. He got him. Oh, we got him. Jeez. Louise, is oh, cold see weather affecting the phones or what, man? <laughs> Jimbo, good morning, man. We're waiting on you. Jimbo! <laughs> What's up, Jimmy? <laughs> okay, I hear some... I hear us. Uh, I hear us uh -oh. in the background. Yeah, okay. This I saw was, your man Ozzy last night. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah. he had a blast. I saw he had that uh, couple of drinks, uh, smile on his face kind of look. I had some, too. Oh, you had a couple? Yeah. Doing some rum? Well, no. Every kickoff party at the end, once it's like almost done, yeah. I have my uh, triple Jaeger. Triple and, uh, Jaeger? Yeah. It's like cough medicine, you know? Get you... When it's like a little chilly out, gives you a little... Yeah, yeah. That yeah. tingly feeling. Whatever excuse you want to use to be a lush, it's not a problem with me, man. Oh, Eric. Anyway, so we're trying Jimbo Thomas. Remember some phone issues back at the 940. We'll figure this thing out. We can go to it now. We got him. I've tried two times, three times a charm. Jimbo, hey, man. Let, let's hope it is. You hear me? I got you. Oh, thank Jimbo. God. There you, there's my man right out, Jimbo. Hey, buddy. Good oh. morning to you. Modern technology. <laughs> Look at this, oh, man. There goes it's your phone. It's, it was so windy on the set here, Jimbo. Every, everything's we're, blown we're off. Losing props wow. and stuff, man. But anyway, good morning to you, brother, man. You and I talked last night. Kind of a off week this week for you, I think. Um... Well, the fishing has not been great once again. You know, uh, everybody's been complaining up and down the coast. But we've had uh, some decent catches. I know we spoke last night. We've been doing the slow trolling for the mutton snappers up on the patch reefs. And yesterday we I, we caught 15 mutton snappers. Ooh, man. Wow. Now, uh, of those 15, we kept five of them. So you do get some small ones. But we had fish up to 15 pounds. So we had some big ones. Man, nice, nice, nice fish. So, uh, 
it, it wasn't slow for us, but out in the deep water, it's been kind of tough. Uh, we did go out in the deep water after we caught our few muttons, and we caught a blackfin tuna and a couple bonitas, but for the most part, it's been a struggle to get a bite out there live baiting. Even though the conditions look really good, it's just not been uh, going off. Okay. No, okay. You, know, you and I talked last night, Jimbo. Could change something. You're going to unveil a secret technique, Joe, that he uses to catch those muttons. Okay. Oh. He didn't say. He said he's trolling, but he didn't say exactly how he's trolling. Right. He tipped me off last night. He said he's mentioned this on the program before. I may have missed it. Jimbo, what do you do with that? You have a little planer thing going on. What are you doing, dude? Oh. All right, so we're using a we're using a number two planer, number two, okay. and then a, a number two because we're only fishing in about twenty feet of water. If you go too big of a planer, you're bouncing the bottom the whole time. Okay, so number two, which is a small planer, and then we're using about seventy five feet of fifty pound mono mono four uh, mono filament leader, or you can use fluorocarbon. It okay. doesn't matter. All right. And we're we're rigging a, a swimming ballyhoo at the end of our leader with about a seven o hook. All right, six o seven o, just depending on what size your ballyhoos are. Mm -hmm. And we're trolling at about four knots, so we're going relatively slow. Right. And we're trolling around the patch reefs, not going over the top of them, but around the edges of them. And once you get down inside of Fowey Light South, there's a a string of pat trees that goes all the way down to Key West for the most part, but you, you could go uh, all day long and not go over the same little reef uh, twice. So we're just trolling around those, and you'll get in certain areas that the fish are at, and you get bites, so we work those areas, and then when we stop getting bites, we, we move on to the next area of pat trees. I've never heard of trolling yeah. for muttons before until he told me this thing. I, I've trolled for I've trolled for grouper, like grouper, you know, throwing plugs out. Yeah, yeah. And trolling plugs over rocks or whatever else. Sure. Which has been great, but I have never tried trolling for muttons. Well, you, you would know. think, because well, I've, I've heard of people doing it for grouper, too. Yeah. But you would think, theoretically, if they're going to do it for grouper, why not do it for... Muttons, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. Because it, it, it because they're both bottom fish. They, you know, muttons get big. So yeah, don't I think it's a, a, I think it's awesome. I'm throwing a big word like theoretically this time of the morning when I'm freezing. Uh, myself, theoretically, can you like uh, make the word smaller because my know, my lips are like chapped. Uh, approximately, crazy. approximately be fine. <laughs> <laughs> How deep are the lines? <laughs> uh, you know, uh, here's the key. Our, our yeah. baits are are down roughly about. Uh, 12 to 14 feet, I'd say. <laughs> there you go, Joe. There's your depth thing. Thank you. Okay. Deep stuff there, All Joe. Right. Thank you, Jimbo. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. All right, so, Jim, I guess the big question is, man, are you actually going to go out and brave this weather and fish today, or are you staying uh, on land, dude? Um, It looks like we're supposed to be going. As much as I don't want what? to, wow. the house is going to, like, blow down. <laughs> in the house yet. God. But, uh... Wow. It's, uh, it's looking a little fierce to frightening. Okay. Fierce to frightening. That's a great forecast. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jimbo, as long as you're staying warm, man, it's all that matters, bro. You know what I mean? So well, you know, I had the wife up knit me a ball warmer last night. Oh. So, uh, you only have one? I'm, I'm good to go. You only have one. She well, just it's an extra large. It's going to fit them both. <laughs> a ball warmer? Are you cereal? <laughs> That's a genius, man. That's can great. you have the wife make four? Like th one for you and th one for each I one? Can, I could go wake her up and get her to start knitting if I, you I, like. I can certainly borrow one, dude. I'd like to have one like right now. <laughs> <laughs> a ball warmer. Oh, I love it, man. Well, Jimbo, man, good luck today, bro. If you're out there, man, uh, good luck to you. God bless you for battling the elements, man. Yeah, uh, I mean, man, if you go out there today. A, that's a true test oof. of a captain, brother, man. Yeah. Let me tell you. Well, I'm, that's hardcore. I'm going to see when our people get there, but as of yesterday, they knew it was not going to be good weather, and they're gung ho. So I'm like, oh man, hey man, that, that, that so. cash that cash will warm you up when you start paying you at the dock. You'll be, yeah. you'll be warming they up. Better give you a big tip, man. Yeah, right. Thank you. Some days it's just not worth it. Yeah. All right, Jim. We're late, late, in a, late in a break, man. But hey, man, you made me laugh. Thanks very much. We're cold as hell here in the set, but uh, yeah. have a great day, dude. Yeah, thanks, Jim. All right, Bye, guys. Thanks so much. He's funny, man. Yeah, that was good. Look at his wife knitting together. <laughs> A warmer for That's him. Oh, <laughs> uh, you Floridians, man. Yeah. You guys. Hey, it's what it is, man. You I, know it's like a blizzard in New Jersey right now, I, right? I, I, we understand that, but we're, we're in South Florida. It's supposed yeah, to be warm, I, yes. okay? Okay. First break of the morning, man. We're a little bit late here. 614, Fox Sports 940. Live. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Oh, you can go to break, Eric. I was, yeah, Eric, go to break, dude. South Florida there fisherman. You go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. I'm going to get up walk. I you, walk. You, you, oh, wait, wait, wait. You're walking. You can't even do your first break. Ooh. Really? All right. All right. So, wow. Let's wow. check out. Let's see out the folks uh, on the Facebook stream. We Where's the one? love for our family that's up uh, I we're I watching your butt? I want to say to everybody on the Facebook stream, you guys are awesome. We're getting up so many nice comments. Uh, yeah. We love you guys. Uh, Ozzy and Chilla. Good morning, Penguins. <laughs> oh, Steven, your something just fell off your house. Dave Nauman says, good morning, Joe and Eric. Thank you, brother. Elon Talbers. Joe, uh, so how is it going to work tomorrow? We just talked about that. It's called yep. safety and dress warm, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, John Bartolo. Brrr, good morning, guys. I don't know what that was, but... Uh, Robert Sylvia. I just saw it on the corner of my eye. I don't know if it... Robert Sylvia is listening to us out of state. He's up somewhere very cold right now, so thank you very much. Richard Hector. Hey, Richard. Hey, you doing, bro? Yeah, nice, mus- nice green Mustang, dude. I saw that. He wore a green shirt to match it yesterday. That's mighty. It was, it was mighty. lovely. That's lovely, man. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Marty Slack. What's up, dude? William Talbert. Uh, ba- ba- Captain Deb Dale watching us this morning. Oh. She's coming up. I uh, I also want to say, uh, <coughs> I, I know probably people are tuning in that was at the kickoff party last night and guys that are fishing the tournament. <coughs> I just want to say thank you guys uh, for last night. You guys were awesome. Yeah. Uh, thanks so much for contributing to the raffle uh, to help the Broward Children's Center. And, you know, you guys rock. And it's just great to see how everyone was just still, after all this, so exci- excited. Yeah. I got. Um, I have. I will warm you on. Okay. I, I the, lost the, my train of thought. Hey, question is Corey we love the guy you guys. Who got Thank that, you. Corey got that record-setting fish. Corey's next, by the way. Just so you know. Yeah, I know that. He's yeah. the one with the record-setting fish, right? The He's snakehead. Snakehead. Yeah. 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 Just yeah. making sure. He yep. beat his own record, actually, which is pretty cool. Al is back in the Colombia. Oh. Yeah, man. Is he so, stuck there, or is he there just? Well, no, no. He's just actually arrived, and getting out will be his problem because he had the same problem last time. He right got exposed to COVID or VD or whatever it was. Yeah, and then he, STD. He was testing positive. <laughs> right. He was testing positive. Right there. Eric has gone bye bye, guys. He's too cold. His brain is frozen over, and now he's just <laughs> spitting out gibberish. So don't mind him. I'm, Dude, I'm here to help out. I am not kidding, you, brother oh, man. Sand just got me. I want to ah. call Jimbo see if he can actually FedEx over one of those warmers that his wife's making. What? I want to have him just to hand deliver one of those warmers. Okay. It's the, a fairly moderate concoction. The sack warmer. Yeah. Anyway, so... Uh, <laughs> but yeah, we love you guys for the kickoff party last night. Thank you, you so much. You still got things you're doing for the uh, tournament. You still got things you put together. Oh, like my this. God. You're listening to the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. I know everybody says money can't buy happiness, but it can buy me a boat. Powered by Mercury Marine. It can buy Brought to you by Pompano Ford and Pompano Lincoln. An easy way to car. And the fishing buddies everybody needs. Eric Brandon and Joe Hector. You're hooked into the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. Yeah, baby, it's a cold Saturday morning. I say, Joe, it's probably colder out here than it is in the Miami Dolphins locker room. Oh man, you uh, had that's to go pretty. There. That's pretty. That's you pretty sure icy, about that? That's a pretty icy place, baby. Yeah, right now, yeah, man, that's an icy spot to be, baby. No yeah. doubt about that. Yeah. <laughs> Raider talk is over. They're done. Huh? So, what like that? We got okay. Have... Okay. So since we're going a little football here, guys. Yeah. Quickly. I, I'm gonna say I'm thinking L.A. and K.C. Yeah. That's a good. That's a good choice. I can't I think. stand the Chiefs. Come I can't on. either, bro. Right, I, I by, want, by the I want, way, I want them out. Yeah. Totally what what did you think of that Buffalo game last week? Was that the most freaking awesome Dude. game you ever? Did you see it, Joe, or no? Look, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Great game. I just the overtime. With thirteen just, seconds left, you should have pooched the ball on the kickoff, not put it up in the air. Okay. Terrible call by the coach. But here's Special another teams. thing, though. Like with overtime, they got to change that. You got to give the other team an opportunity. They're talking about that rule change yeah. right now. Like, after a great game like that, that was a freaking after awesome they game. They score, they get other team gets a shot. Yeah, they don't make it, and the game's over. Okay? Right. right, just give them one shot. I told that rule change would be great. Yeah, sure. yeah. Or or they can just change it maybe for the playoffs. Yeah. You could keep it maybe during the season because you know you could tie. What but in we... the playoffs, you gotta. Well, well, on the other opposite end of things, gentlemen, Buffalo. Did call the coin toss and they kind of lost it. Dot com. Well, that's the problem. Yeah. You can't after the game they played to have it come down to right. heads or tails. Okay, Eric. We could debate this all you know morning. We have a guy holding on <laughs> line number one for Alan's room, but he's freezing his ass off. He's the bass guy. Okay. Yes. Corey Nowakowski's on the phone. 
holding Corey. Tricks. Corey, okay. Yeah. The world record snakehead holder is holding on line one. You think and we're jobbing about football. Yes. Okay. Yes. We are Fox Sports now, sir. We are. Well, it's a good, ah! point. good point. Okay. Bada boom, where's the snare drum? Does okay. Corey like football? <laughs> I will find out, man. Let's bring, ask him. Bring him on, Corey. Good morning, brother. How you guys doing? Good. Freezing our asses off, Corey. Thanks for asking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, man, I heard you uh, went out. We talked last night as well, and uh, you going out this week and said you had a, a good week, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it was... Uh, it was, it was work, uh, you know, for especially for snakeheads. It was uh, uh, you had you got to work for them right now. They're that yeah. cooler water temp. I get it's only going to get more work because the you know, it's going to get colder. So, um, you know, when I went the other day, it was we didn't get a lot, but we still got some big fish. Okay, cool. Um, biggest is twelve pounds. So that's um, not bad, man. Twelve pounder ain't bad, dude. Nice no, man, that's that's pretty. Pretty impressive to me. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For this time of year, a lot of people don't even bother fishing for them. So, because, you know, they don't know how to a lot of times. So, yeah. Um, that, that makes me. It's, just, it's slowing it down for them. That's the biggest thing. It's really not a lot of top water action. You got to really, it's a lot of subsurface. Now, these. Stuff like spinner. Were, were so, they primarily all uh, snakeheads you were targeting, or are you looking for largemouth and peacocks or the whole. The whole uh, yeah, well. Mostly, it was mostly snakeheads I was looking for. Okay. Um, the other day I was out in the glade. We we caught a lot of we caught a bunch of bass. I think it's about five pounds. Okay. Um, I'll take just it. had to deal with the day last or this past week. It was you know trying to get out of it. <laughs> like today, it's going to be. <laughs> oh, so. yeah, it's going to be uh, nuts. I, I know on my lake, uh, Catherine, where I fish, uh, Corey, that when the cold fronts come through and it gets that lake a little chilled, man. I know my peacock bass go to, like, hibernation mode. They just sort of, like, turn off. They don't want to bite nothing, Joe. Yeah. Even candy might, even might, kill be, some even of candy them. might be a stretch. I don't know, dude. No. No. <laughs> Everyone loves candy. I know you love your candy, of course. Yeah. <laughs> but have you seen that, Corey, in your fishing time, that when the cold front comes through and the water chills a little bit, do the fish kind of, like, turn off a little bit in your your world? Yeah, they... they they do. I mean, it really, really depends on the water temp. Is really the biggest thing. If if the water temp's still at a a good temperature, like between eh, sixty six and a little bit above seventy, they'll still hit pretty good. Even okay. peacocks or you know snakeheads, but start getting below that. Oh. Sorry, Corey. That's just right, the, lo- that's just the wind blowing across our microphones, man. Don't worry about us. It's, <laughs> it's just us getting blown around here, dude. We're good. Okay. Yeah, I hear. <laughs> Yeah, but they, it 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 starts slowing down. It it does. I mean, you know, and then you got to try to get out of the wind too. That's another thing. It's yeah. which is a hard to do on a day like today. Are you oh, yeah. are you seeing any clown uh, knife fish out there at all during your uh, your fishing trips at all? I do I do um, once the one place I went for snakeheads? You you see them you see them come up every now and again. They don't roll as much this time of the year because the water's not so hot. Yeah, they don't have to come up oxygen so much, but. Um, they're around. Um, I haven't really been targeting them too much lately. I see when I've been targeting them, I've been using a lot of artificial. Okay. Um, so I, I use live bait every now and again, but it's, I've been, I've been getting them on the artificial a lot. Um, really? Like extra uh, I jerk thought, baits. I thought clouds were primarily a live bait fish normally like candy. You, normally it is. But you can get them on artificial. It's a very, I will say, you have to have a lot of patience to do it. It's not easy. <laughs> uh, maybe being um, a very skilled fisherman, you might be talking about. You know what I mean? Like you got skills, and, uh, Corey. <laughs> well, it, it's a lot of it. A lot of it's getting them on the pause. When you're using like a crankbait or a jerkbait like that, you got to get them on the pause. Okay. Yeah. They 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 hit it like a suspending jerkbait. Right. If you get pause, it's that's usually when they hit it ninety five percent of the time. It's they don't. I never get them a lot when you're getting them moving it. That's a great tip, man. Um, yeah. hmm. Seems like it's all on the pause. If you know, if you see them rolling and you know where they're at, you know, just work. You just got to keep working it. That's the thing. So it's not. It's there's a lot of patience. That's <laughs> why the show is always every weekend is a different, Joe. Because every weekend I'm learning something new from these caps. Okay, yeah. like I get Jimbo trolling for buttons. I hadn't heard about doing that before. Right now we got Corey talking about how to do the pause on the artificials to catch these snakeheads. Sure. So, 
I mean, uh, Claude Knives is all. Every weekend you pick up a brand new tip after 16 years. We keep learning things yeah. and these experienced guys, man. Great tips, too, that, right? that really work, you know? Yeah, anybody That's, can try them, man. Right, for exactly. Sure. Exactly. So, Corey, man, uh, let me ask this question we're asking everybody. Are you fishing or are you staying inside, inside and being a smart guy today? Uh, well, we're going to try to. We're going to try to bear it, but I don't know how well. <laughs> that's, that's hardcore. He is, Corey is hardcore hey, if you're man. going out today, man. Yeah. We're going to try to bear it, man. Well, I, man, God bless you, Corey. I swear. Seriously. Man, go out there and do your thing, bro. If you do go out, man, warm up and uh, and catch him up, yeah. man. As yeah. always. Yep, we're going to try. Let's <laughs> <I'm gonna> try. <laughs> thanks, hey, Corey, Corey. You're so great, Philly, for Alan, man. You're an accomplished angler, so oh, thanks yeah. very much, man. You're a skilled guy, world record snakehead holder. Couldn't ask for a better guy to be on the program. Real quick, I got a quick question for you. Corey. Uh, really? Qu- what? <laughs> <laughs> I knew uh, it. Corey, uh, is there any snakehead tournaments coming up that you know of? I thought I saw not, something for the spring. I not, not know of. Um, not, they've they've kind of really stopped. Um, oh, wow. Just, you know, it's not really there anymore. I mean, I don't know if somebody tries to do something else, but okay. I... You know, the ones that have been past, they're not around anymore. How uh, come? I can, wait, I can see I can see Joe Hector, Mr. Creativity. I, I, that's what he's up to. Wait, I wait, smell wait. what the rock is now cooking. Now he's got his first annual Snakehead <laughs> Roundup <laughs> Tournament. That's coming next, man. Well, okay? Uh, I don't know. Come on, Joe. I don't know. You can do it, bro. I don't you know. know. You can do it, man. I don't know. You can do it. In the Everglades. Well, let's see what Corey has you to say. You can do it, man. What? What, Corey, what happened? Well, the biggest... <laughs> biggest problem is the guy that used to do it he doesn't really want to do it anymore and the other problem is we're getting a lot of people that don't even really want to kill him anymore because it's such a it's such a you're becoming a popular fish to catch right right and a lot, the, other, the other thing too is they're really not as bad as everybody you know thought they were in the beginning right so you know, a lot of people aren't really wanting to i mean that's kind of why i stopped doing it because I don't think it's really necessary anymore. You know, yeah. to have kill turn. I'm not a. I'm not a fan of killing oh. fish. Period, dude. Unless I'm going to eat them off shortly. Yeah, Wahoo or yeah. a mice mahi. Or something. I mean, look, we got our selfish tournament coming. Up. That's a catch release. Hell you yeah, know, dude. we yeah. got a conservation. Yeah. I mean, I, I keep them every now and again. You know, I, not the giant ones, but I keep I keep them to eat. You know, every now and again. But okay. you know, I, I don't know. It kind of it kind of wore out. Just people just stop. Not, not as many people as it used to be that used to come to do it anymore. So, oh, gotcha. interesting. <laughs> okay. It's All right, Corey. We got to rock and roll, make the break, man. But hey, have a great day. And if you're out there, man, stay warm, brother, man. Yeah, for thanks, sure. Corey. All right. Hey, yeah. Thank you. Have, Thank have you, Corey. Day. All right, so I'm going to walk around a little bit, get my blood pumping during this break because I'm, I'm cold as uh, hell. Yeah. You already said how it just kind of died out a little bit, those, yeah. those snakehead tournaments. Huh. Well, he's saying, huh. Maybe, huh. Well, Joe, there's opportunities knocking, baby. I hear a knock, 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 Joe. Ding dong. Okay. The wheels things, are always wheels turning. Are spinning, baby. Yeah. Take a break of back with you. We got to Danny Ramos on deck next. Oh, man. Yeah, man, right here at Fox Sports 940. Live. Hey. Cold. We've got a pile of debt. I'm, I'm a poor schlep. Hey, why don't you leave this poor guy alone? We've got a show. They need emergency hey. help. Listen every hour, weekdays, 12 times a day for your chance to win 1000 bucks. Oh, my Lord. Happening now. We're here to help you. Congratulations, Al Hendricks and Toyota, the number one Toyota dealer in the Southeast region. Based on total new Toyota retail sales for 2021 for Southeast Toyota distributors. Who saves you money? Shop the number one at alhendricksontoyota.com Hear that? That's the sound of confidence. The sound of confidence brought to you by Nationwide Battery. For over 30 years, boaters and fishermen have counted on Nationwide to fire up their engines, to keep their electronics going, week after week, year after year. They have the largest selection of batteries at the best prices. With dockside installation available, if you count on your boat, and count on Nationwide Battery. Visit them at nationwide-battery.com. Nationwide Batteries, the sound of confidence. When it comes to kayak fishing, Nautical Ventures knows what you need to catch fish. They carry top brands from Hobie, Ocean, Wilderness, Old Town, Perception, Necky, 
and are experts in rigging your kayak. They'll customize your kayak with fishing amenities, lights, depth finders, and anything else that fits your personal fishing style. Nautical Ventures has the largest and latest selection of kayaks and accessories in stock, and you can try it before you buy it in their exclusive Aqua Zone. Go to nauticalventures.com for more details. Nautical Ventures, the go-to people for kayak fishing. Remember the glory days of gasoline? It's just not made the same anymore. Kick your gas into gear with StarTron. Pump up the performance in all of your engines. Cure the problems of ethanol with the power of enzymes. And maximize your mileage every time you drive. Kickstart your engines with StarTron. If you're looking to breathe new life into your boat, new motors will open up a whole new world. Nautical Ventures has several repowering options to fit your needs and budget. They carry the top brands including Mercury, Yamaha, Evinrude, Tuatsu, and a wide range of horsepower to give you all the speed you could need. Plus, they offer repower finance programs with affordable, low monthly payments. Contact Nautical Ventures today and talk to their pros about repower options. Call 954-926-5250 or go to nauticalventures.com. Nautical Ventures, the go-to people for power. You love your boat. You love the water. But you'll love them both even more with a new Mercury V8 four-stroke outboard on the transom. The four-stroke 4.6-liter V8 powerhead delivers exhilarating acceleration and top speed with uncompromising durability and reliability. While its advanced midsection and undercowl noise management create the smoothest, quietest ride on the water, the 250 and 300 horsepower four-strokes are famous for superior hole shot and fuel efficiency. See your Mercury dealer today for the exciting 250 and 300 horsepower four-stroke outboards. The Rocket Mortgage Super Bowl Square Sweepstakes is back, and we're kicking off the action again with the largest official game of Super Bowl Squares ever. Here's the play-by-play. -play. There's millions of dollars in prizes, and a bunch of lucky fans are gonna win big. Every single score change will draw one lucky winner from the square to win $50,000. That means touchdowns, field goals, extra points, safeties, even a two-point conversion is a winner. 50 Gs plus two grand prize winners will win a half million dollars they could use toward their dream home. There's one way to enter, two ways to win, and zero reasons not to play. See rules and get in the game for free at Rocket Mortgage. Ah, uh, look who came back here. Hey, uh, we walked down by your uh, waterway there, man. Nice job with those rocks. Yeah, we got them in place, man. Those stones look nice and big on that wall there, bro. Thank you, man. Good morrow. Good morrow. <laughs> Steven, can I have one of those rocks? Which rock do you want? I don't know. Just one of them for my little. I wish you told area. me. I wish you told me before because I kind of had that guy loaded for hey, you on uh, the trailer. Howard Kirk know. goes. Hey, morning, guys. Great party last night. Thank you. Sweet man. Man, we had a blast, man. Eddie Walters, what's up, bro? How you doing, man? Albert uh, Skolarski, William Talbert, Mark Got it. Slack. All these great guys and gals checking us out while we're out here being sissy boys. And how come you didn't come to the kickoff party? Uh, because I wake up at four thirty-one on <laughs> Saturday morning for the show. Steven, you should have came, man. Okay. That's why I, I, I was I actually worked last night till nine. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. We can't be irresponsible. Like I mean, uh, never mind. No, I appreciate it. I did work. I work every Friday till nine. By the way. <laughs> Every Friday? Every Friday. Every single Friday? Every Friday. Damn, it's getting colder right here. But what's the current temperature, Stephen? you know? Two. I'll check it for you. But you know what? You were by the water where it's even colder. Dude, it's on your on your patio. It's freezing, bro. Okay? Gosh, you light guys. the fire up. God, I wish that fire was going. Yeah, thinking, seriously. The fire still, would be cool. I, I will try. I'm going to make sure Kipeni doesn't catch on fire. Thing, man. <laughs> <laughs> I swear I'd be defrosting my cheeks right now. Uh, Damn. You guys. Wait, so we're going to do the fire? Uh, he may have. Next week we'll try. Maybe. Okay. You found the secret spot to get your fishing in. The Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. I want to go fishing. Powered by Mercury Marine. I don't ever want to stop. With Eric Brandon and Joe Hector. Brought to you by Pompano Ford and Pompano Lincoln. An easy way to car. Anything you want to know about fishing or boating, troll us at 866-801-0940. Holy cow. This is more serious than I thought. Watch the show live on the Nautical Ventures Facebook page. We'll certainly look forward to that. The Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. Sort of like the uh, Postal Service. Come rain, come sleet, come snow, come something of night, they never stop. 
whatever the hell they said back in the mail days. But they, it, the main thing was nothing stops the mail. Well, nothing stops the show. Yeah, they, the mail stops. Trust me. Well, we know these days. It, <laughs> back when <laughs> Paul Revere yeah. was kicking it off. Or, but, or like when you order a Express uh, overnight and you get it three days later. We are the only radio show on a live outdoor set every Saturday morning. Oh, that and, is true. And, it, and it's 50-something degrees I out think there. in the country we're the only guys doing this thing. I yeah. believe we've surveyed uh, some other things going sure. on. We're the only live radio show. On a patio with water 50, and a pontoon boat and a, and a horse and yeah, chickens and stuff. 53 uh, degrees yeah. outside right now. Oh. Winds uh, out of the northwest uh, from uh, 28 to 39 miles That's per funny. hour. Get watching, you some of that. Watching. As the winds blow, man, it's picking up some of his Stephen Jordan right. degree. You and I just had a couple of leaves to smack his I've face. I've eaten some hay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Joe, when yeah. the poop starts flying, you know uh, you've got some problems. Uh, 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 Luckily, a, Eric's... On, on a penny's uh, Kiss goes flying by here, man. That's going to be a, a <laughs> nasty tasting thing there. But anyway, let's get uh, Danny Ramos out of bed. Oh, yeah. And see My what man. The hell he's been doing lately. Danny. Uh, on the blue. What's going on, fellas? Hey, morning, Danny, man. Good hearing your voice, brother. Good morning to you. Yeah, yeah, I'm here, man. I'm here in the duck blind with this wind and cold. This is cool. He's on a. He's in a, He's actually hunting ducks right now, dude. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> he's, a, he's in a duck blind. That's, you know, that's kind of foul. Some <laughs> 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 foul, foul weather we got here too, bro. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you're looking for some ducks to bang bang, but uh, Danny, what's your fishing yeah. been like the last couple of days, Benji? Uh, get out and uh, take the blue dream out uh, of it, man. Yeah, they, these last uh, few days, I actually I took off. Uh, I did last week. I hit it pretty hard. Mm -hmm. uh, and and Joe, I, I found some wahoo. Ooh. Sure. I know you like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, yeah, I baby. I got some pretty nice ones, you know, you know, 10, 15 pounders, but you know, out of Miami, those are great fish. So nice. we, we found them, uh, after the show, I had a, uh, last Saturday went out, we caught one, uh, and then I caught another one. I believe it was on Monday or Tuesday on the charter, just, uh, working the color change right up on the edge. Nice. And, uh, and then we caught a nice, uh, 12 pound mutton too. What's so with these muttons, huh? Ah, nice. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, they're, they're, they had some goodies. They had a pair of, uh, it was a half day, so we did, uh, they got a pair of wahoo and a, and a nice mutton to go home with. Nice, But it, it's, it's been, you know, relatively slow uh, as far as, I don't know what the other captain's saying, but I mean, I, from what I've been experiencing, you've had to work, you know, there's been some, some kings being caught or whatever, but, you know, it hasn't been red hot, you know, uh, the line's filling out like crazy, but, you know, some bonitas around as well. But uh, you got to work for some of the fish and, and try to work the structure. Um, you know, any wrecks, uh, reefs, you know, basically I think that's the go-to right now. Sure. But today, D you're going to get wet if you get out there, that's for sure. Yeah. Well, da <laughs> Danny, let me ask you this. How, first, how's the sail fishing been? And second, I think after this front, from what it's calling for tomorrow, I, the fishing should be, for sail fish oh, anyway, yeah. should be on, right? Yeah. Yeah, the shellfish should be moving through with this cold front, hopefully. Because to be honest with you, yeah, you see a one or two sail here and there being caught, but it, you're not you're not seeing you know where these sailfish invade you know our coast of Miami here where right some tournaments are catching three four hundred sails in one day right off the front you know but yeah. you know I'm just seeing <laughs> I'm seeing really you know one sailfish here and, and I think honestly the last few days I haven't even seen anybody really got one so yeah. hopefully this front. This front, uh, we'll move them through and get them to bite real good. Well, hopefully tomorrow they'll be around like in numbers. We're hoping for Joe's yeah. tournament, Danny. He's got that, yeah. the big uh, selfish oh. smack that happened tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, but of, uh, that's Pop what makes the tournament great, man. That's what makes them great. It's whoever does catch one is the best. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. I'll tell you what, Danny. Give out some tips for these kayak guys or anybody else sailfishing tomorrow. What uh, would be their bait of choice? Uh, what would be their best tactic to get your sailfish tomorrow, do you think, in these conditions? Yeah. Uh, I mean, in these conditions, as far as if you want to get a chance at a, at a sail to bite, if you're not flying a kite from a, a kayak, which I'm sure you're not, uh, just uh, uh, <laughs> Some are. the lightest Smart. fluorocarbon that you can get to the bend the corners is like a 25, 30 pound test, or you know, if, if you want to stretch as close as 20, but you know, you're gonna you're gonna fight, but you're gonna get the bite. Uh, live gogs, live thread fins will be a good one. Uh, even small blue runners uh, will be nice, but. You know, I would say the fluorocarbon, you know, if they're, if they're finicky and not even really biting, you're going to give them that advantage where, you know, you might get that bite uh, on that sail. But, 
you know, try to go 30 pound uh, fluorocarbon leader with yeah. a uh, six hole circle hook and uh, fresh dogs, thread fin, or some small blue, blue runners. Uh, find them uh, anywhere between 90, you know, I've seen them as close as 60 feet, 60 to 120 feet, 150 feet, you'll, you'll, you'll find them. Most of your guys, Joe carry uh, live wells under on their axe. Oh yeah, yeah well, even if it's not a live well, they'll t- they'll do like a five gallon bucket. Yeah, and you a know, little aerator. Gogs, gogs will live in there if you got the aerator going for a while. Okay. Uh, what they do is though they put that's, two. That's the ultimate bait. Yeah, yeah, that's the ultimate bait. The live gogs, if you can get them, they're pricey. If you try to buy them, I'm a big guy. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, we got uh, our bait boat there. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But little small blue runners, man, they'll, they'll whack that all day, you know. So you get those nice little, you don't get those jumbo blue runners. You get those nice little smaller ones, yeah. and they'll, they'll they'll toss that up pretty good, too. <laughs> hey, Dan, nice. question for you, man. You're in a duck blind. I want to ask this question, man. Do you have a duck collar on? Do you have, like, a duck duck? Uh, uh, oh, I, you, you just took it. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Let me go get my quacker here. <laughs> I wanna, do you have, like, a duck collar? I want to hear a duck call, man, from a blind this morning. Come on. Let's hear that. Yeah, right? You got you got, you got Got one? Do it. Yes, do, do it. Do it. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I'm flying over, man. You just call. I, I'm being called, man. It's it's attracting me. It's that's great. <laughs> it was, it's a fairly moderate <laughs> option. That's pretty cool, dude. Yeah, yeah. That's, like, that's a mallard, and then you got you got the Woody here. So you got different kind of calls eh, for a different kind of species. Uh, you know, they come in all different kinds. So you got nice. wood duck, ringback, teal, mallard. I, I'm, I'm, I'm ready for them. I'm sure there's lots of different woodies as well. I, Danny, I, I, I've I never heard. Said, I knew, Gray, that come to your perverted brain, okay? I, I've never heard Danny this excited, though, like, on the show. Like, he is pumped no, to get is, these today. No, he is juiced up today, he's, man. He's, he's blasting his duck, sure. you know, stuff. Yeah. And, so, Danny, is it is it harder to get ducks when it's, like, 40-mile-an-hour winds blowing through the Everglades? <laughs> Bro, it, it is, man, because these things already have jet packs attached to their back. Yeah, right. <laughs> not the ducks that you're, you're finding in the lift, you know, in your house, man. These things are, if you don't see them, you hear them blow by. You're so you said they got, like, 600 Verados on back, strapped to the back of their ass. <laughs> kind of, yes. They sound like a G5, man. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so you so you bla- going downwind with them, they're going to be blowing pretty fast. Now you you blast a duck, Danny. You have like a, a dog trained dog to go fetch them for you, or you guys actually go and grab them yourself? No, we we kind of uh, see where they drop, and we kind of like I, I just like to get like a little notepad and put like a dot. All right, this is our setup, and then one fell here, one fell here, and then we kind of come out. But okay. yeah, a lot of guys get their dogs out here. That's that's really a beautiful thing to see. You know, you yeah. see the dog retrieve it. Sure. Yeah. Uh, and then we lose a lot of them to the gators too. So the bird falls, and there's gators out here. So what? If you know that bird what? was dead and it disappeared, pretty pretty good chance that a gator took them. <laughs> He should be like Adam Sandler, like uh, in that uh, golf flick. If uh, you know when you oh, lost yeah. the golf ball. Oh yeah, what was the name of that movie? Uh, Happy Gilmore. Jump yes, in, Happy Jump Gilmore, in. right? Yeah, Happy Gilmore. Yeah. Jump up, jump in, and yeah. grab that damn duck. Well, Danny, man, you've been a blast, bro. Talking to us on the blind. There's a duck calls, uh, selfish tips with the guys tomorrow, man. Yeah. So you yeah. have been just spot on, banging, dude. Great job, bro. Yeah, yeah, awesome, right, man. <laughs> There you go, last one. <laughs> we should have like a selfish, right, a selfish collar would be nice to have tomorrow, man. Yeah, I know, there. right? Right? But, the fish uh, whistle. Yeah, the yeah. fish whistle. There you go. Hey, thanks, Dan. Uh, have a great time, man. Right, See you, bud. Have a good one. Take care. How about that? Danny really said it, just juiced up and right? on fire today, man. Yeah. So, so I had to move the mercury boxes while you guys were on that the air so they don't very, catch on fire. That was extremely smart, Steven. Uh, uh, can you feel any heat off Dude, of the thing? Dude, I can. That feels yeah, so good, bro. this feels nice. This is just, look, at, even on the Facebook stream, you guys, you see that on the Oh, they the see TV? it, yeah. It, it's just it, that's a great fire. Dude. If you just make sure nothing on the house doesn't catch fire or anything on the set, please. Uh, you got you got hairspray and my my dude. <laughs> yeah, probably oh. probably ignite if I get too I'll close. I'll pour some coffee on you. There's a worry. water hose right next to him, Joe, in case you need to hit him with it. Okay, <laughs> all right. All Sounds right. good. So here's the deal. Now the Starbright bucket is being given away now. Okay. Because uh, of uh, the request of a few folks, including Nautical Ventures, they want it done at this time, so we moved okay. it to quarter to seven. Uh, no disrespect of your stories. Eric fired me. I did not. He fired me. But we have he to, fired me. We have a clock watch to Let's do go, here. Okay? Well, young. Yeah. So we're going to do a trivia question for anybody. Now, here's the thing. If you're anywhere across the country, we'll mail this to you. We'll mail the Starbright bucket to you, okay? Yes. So if you answer this, you call the toll free na- number nah. and you can you can you can win <laughs> the Starbright bucket, okay? What was right? that? 
So we'll call it nah. I'm going to ask a very easy trivia question for the first one. 866-801-0940. Okay? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. We have I the legend, nailed. Captain Bowser Smith, coming up next, okay? The yeah. legend, Captain Bowser. And I think most folks know what he used to drive, and he was very famous for being in his boat, okay? Yeah. Oh, I know. I know what, which one. What I know. was the name of Captain Bowser Smith's boat? Ooh. Okay. It's, I have it's no got, idea. I'll give you a little tip. It's got the number 33 uh, in it, okay? Uh, That's all I'm going to say, okay? Okay. So, 866-801-0940. What was Bouncer Smith's boat's name? It's very famous. If you want to Google it and cheat, I, I'm not going to. I'm not going to hold you to it. Okay, just, just that's the is question. It, is it in his book? It, oh, it's definitely in his book. Yeah, okay. there's a book. So, guys, you can if you want to cheat, does Google Bouncer it. Bouncer Smith Chronicles. Anyway. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So we'll take a break. Come back with the Starbright Water with Captain Bouncer. We got Captain Dale coming up on the program. Nice. We've got so many folks just standing by, and we're freezing our asses off and whining like sissies yes. at 6:44 at Fox Sports 940 live. <laughs> you have. <laughs> That fire is banging, Stephen. That yeah, is just yeah. Great, it's, it might be banging a little too much. No, nothing's man. catching on fire back there, is there? No, man. It's, I had it, to move those mercury boxes is. because I was afraid they were going to catch on fire. That is putting out some great heat, man. Is it? Is it a um, some guy just um, Steve uh, Johnson just gave an answer? Oh, uh, right? let me see here. Okay, Steve Johnson, huh? Okay, well, I'm not going to say what Steve Johnson just said, but Stephen, if you call the number and give it to our man Eric back in the studio, you'd be a winner because that is correct, sir. Oh, you are correct, brother. Yeah. Nice. You all right? Yeah, I'm just dabbing off the shot off my forehead. Oh. Yeah, thank you. You don't mind. Why does it shine? Because I'm not wearing a hat that covers my forehead like yours does. I have some right? dulling spray if you want. <laughs> Do you really? You have some pancake yes. makeup they wear on like a Channel 7? Can you make me look like uh, Belkies and Ray? <laughs> <laughs> How come they put so much makeup uh, on people like on that? You know what I mean? Uh, like I, like men, too. You could see I, it. Uh, yeah, I guess. In, in high def. Yeah. I guess they got to look their best, but I don't know, too. Yeah, but like, you know, it's like got to be a little rustic. You know what I mean? Well, you're definitely rustic, that's for sure. You that is stuff. very true. If I should cut back the uh, scruff, you actually had a little thicker growth there going I on. I did. I did. I was doing more of a Wolverine thing, and then... Um, He's your hero, by the way. Yeah, I love yeah, him. Yeah, yes. Yeah. It's me. I know. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> We're not live. day for Halloween, but that was a great costume. You had the mask thing going on. You've got a fun. caller, by the way, named Billy, who will be answering and, the question, or answering the question, okay. possibly. Ah. Then you had the claws coming out, man. Mm -hmm. you had, it was really... One of our highest rated shows was that. It was. That outfit deal. Yes. Yeah. I think there is the red tail still the highest? That was a 10.2 thousand view show that day. But uh, New Year's Eve came in at 10. Wow. Think that about was you, a shock. You guys in the audience, man. I mean, to have 10,000, 8,000, 5,000 viewers at this time of the morning, man, just says a lot about <laughs> what you guys do it's great. as far as you being. Actually, the, the statistics are higher than that it's when you higher. look at the people reach. They're much, they're double that yeah. if you look at statistics. Well, we did some work. Frank Ferraro did some work back at uh, uh, Nautical Ventures about the analytics of the show. Yeah. It's averaging 16 to 23,000 views per show Yeah, overall. So It's great. It's just because you guys are the best, the best, the best. And, we love uh, you guys. We, we, we just love you guys. Think after. about the growth. Yeah. I mean, the, uh, we... It was like 500 viewers per show. When did you stop growing, by the way? Did you ever, you ever, you ever, did you ever have like a growth spurt, or you just always been small? Oh, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. <laughs> hey, uh, Eric, can I throw you in the fire? You can, dude. <laughs> hey, man, you could bring my neck with a big gun you got, so go ahead. You can just go ahead and beat me up, bro. I love you. But anyway, the growth has been great, man. We've yeah, been doing this thing. man. Steven, we kicked off this Facebook stream live, what, back when you first came on board the, the program, right? Yes, we did. When did uh, Steven was like the, come on? Well, That's about a year what, what ago. The, the uh, yeah. second week, I said, you know what, guys, this show needs to go on, on Facebook. My man. Yeah. Did Steven and I come on around the same time? No. No, we still had uh, the coupon counter. <laughs> Hey, don't you talk about me like that. Oh, boy. We had a coupon can. I here. get blamed for this, but guys, just so you know. Yeah, no. No, everything's your fault, Joe. Just remember that. Right. Uh, you, I've you, learned you, that. You're never going to make us holiday card list, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so you know. <laughs> no Christmas cards for me. No. I would just sit there and look like a petrified uh, <laughs> stick. <laughs> How you doing? Everybody. No free boat rides for you on the uh, Vomit Comet in the Keys, Joe. <laughs> no. Nope. 
But anyway, man, it's been great. And uh, Stephen J. Gray, what happened, in case you guys don't know in the audience, I'll just reflect real back. When COVID first hit, all the radio stations banned everybody from coming in to do a show. You're I busy. would have banned you, too. You actually were left on your own devices to find a place to do a broadcast from. It was wow. crazy. So I happen to know of Stephen uh, through the grapevine and some friends talked about him. And we and I talked, and he agreed to, you know, for an astronomical fee to uh, let us come <laughs> in to, to, to do the show here. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, I was asked to. I was asked to do it for that fee. Uh, but yeah, but here you, we go. You're, you're okay now, aren't you? You're okay? I'm happy. No, I'm very happy. Love you guys. Okay. Yes. You too, man. You say is the guy holding with the answer? To yeah. The well, we'll, we'll we'll find out what happens here. This could get ugly. Okay. Uh, Just go with it. Was that from Eric back in the yes. studio? Yes. Okay. Cool, what, man. What, what happened? We have, we have you're catching all the fish because you're tuned into the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show, powered by Mercury Marine. Don't catch all the fish. With your hosts, two legendary fishermen, Eric Brandon and Joe Hector. Oh, I certainly admire people who do things. Brought to you by Pompano Ford and Pompano Lincoln, an easy way to car. You're just the guy I want to see. Glad you're here. Drop the guys a line at 866-801-0940. One ringy dingy. And now, while you drink all the fish and catch all the beer. Come on, pull yourself together. It's back to Eric Brandon and Joe Hector on the Nautical Ventures Weekly. Fisherman Show. Yeah, we don't care how damn cold it is. We're out here in the elements doing a show because we're tough guys. Yes. Or so we think we are. I mean, you got a fireplace behind you, too. That fire is so banging, Steven. Thank you, brother. That yeah. is so cool. Steven's the man. I believe we have a guy named Billy on line one with the answer ah. to the question. Let's do it. Billy, are you there, my friend? It's a it's a girl, and my name is Millie. Oh, well, they said Billy. It's N- hey, Millie. Good job, you? Eric. It was you screwed that up. Stephen J. Gray said it was Billy, but it's Nilly. No, actually, Eric said it was Billy, but it might be a girl. So just just right, say go to the we're phone. Digging a hole. Hi, <laughs> N- hi, Nilly. Good morning. How are you? Good and you? Good. Where are you calling from? What state? What city? What area? I'm calling from Miami, Florida. Were well, you well. part of Nilly Vanilli, by the way, the group? <laughs> I wish. I wish. No. All right, Nilly. What's the answer? What was the name of Captain Boucher Smith's boat, please? Is that the name of the boat was Bouncer's Dusky Thirty Five? Yeah, there oh. you go, baby. Yeah, Nilly. We Not have got Nilly. a bucket of Starbucks stuff for you with a wash, wax, cleaner, shiner, you name it. This thing is loaded. After the show, I'll get your information. I'll call you and tell you to pick up your bucket. But uh, do you have a boat? I'm just curious. Yes, I do. What do you have? I do have a boat, and I was fortunate to have met uh bouncer many times i volunteered for 15 years for the miami billfish tournament oh great. oh that's awesome so nilly's uh, in the fishing yeah. thing yeah well nilly thanks so very much for listening and having us on and i'll get that bucket to you after the show and you're the best thanks so very much thank okay? you nilly thank you. how cool thank that's you. really cool female fisherman awesome. calling in nice very cool nilly so, nilly. with that being said let's bring on the legend himself since we already named his boat that he had mm-hmm. cap bowser I'm I think you're down here in Miami, aren't you? This area? Yeah, I came down here to get warm. I must have made a wrong turn somewhere. Bouncer, thank you for bringing your cold ass weather down here, by the way. <laughs> yeah, <you're> right. <laughs> anyway, Cap, uh, it's nice that Nilly knew the name of your boat, so you were the star of the Starbright Bucket trivia question, so that was very cool. Yeah. But uh, you're down here fishing. What's been happening? And by the way, real quick, guys, we have a picture that you sent me, Eric, of Bouncer fishing, a widescreen picture right now uh, of him on the water. I think this was from this week, right? Yep. The picture you sent me, Cap, uh, you sent yesterday, I, I sent it to Stephen. It's on the Facebook live stream, yeah, which looks great, by the way. Yeah. Now, there's a couple of fish in that picture. I started the week last Saturday. I did not plan on fishing. And lo and behold, I ended up going bass fishing all day. I was with an expert uh, bass guy who taught me all about uh, lure fishing for bass. Now, last Friday, Mm -hmm. an expert guy taught me how to live bait for him. So I was with Shane Purcell on Friday with the bait, and I was with... uh, Mike Arnoldy, uh, Arnoldy on uh, Saturday with Artificial Lures had a ball up there. Then I moved down. I watched football on the weekend as well. And then I moved down to fishing Isla Morada for the first time in my life after a lifetime of friendship with Richard Stanzik and, and years of friendship with Nick Stanzik. 
I finally got to go fishing with Nick and Richard and an old friend, Kenny Spaulding and Pat Mansell and uh, Sarah Stanzik and, and uh, Dawson was our mate. And we had a day of bottom fishing, bar none. We had queen snapper. We had a bunch of blacks and tunes on vertical jigs. And then we went, I had never seen a barrel fish. And we went after barrel fish. Mm -hmm. And we caught six barrel fish on hooker electric reels. And then I said, you know, I got to make this really tough. So I took the smallest rod on the boat. It had a pretty good size reel on, but a really small rod. Mm -hmm. It's called a uh, Stans Offshore Mini Rod. It's only about four feet long, and it's about as big around as a as a wet noodle and <laughs> I dropped down 1100 feet what I made it five, I dropped down five times all the way to the bottom four times I didn't get a bite and sometimes on those four times I probably had 2000 feet line out and never got a bite and had to hand crank it all the way up every time and finally on the fifth drop I finally hooked a fish and on a Stands offshore mini rod in a 10 uh, uh, 40 uh, fathom. I caught a barrel fish hand cranked from Man. 1100 feet of water. Man. Very and cool. Wow. Kudos to Dawson because Dawson <coughs> uh, also caught a barrel fish hand cranked. So um, if you're going to be dumb, you got to be tough. So that was one day we were pretty darn not tough. And then I fished here in Miami and got skunked. Ooh. A live baiting for sale fish with a little bit of bottom fishing mixed in. Mm -hmm. Got skunked. The weather was so beautiful on Thursday. And we had two bites all day and we didn't connect on either one. And it was just a total bust. And then yesterday I went out with A.B. Raymond. Yep. And we took Eric, Eric Brandon's advice and we took a bucket of shrimp with us. Hey, but in whoa. the course of the day, nice. uh, we had to cut bait and live bait and live shrimp and in the course of the day we caught so many fish we used real light spin rods mm -hmm. we had snook and snappers and margates and amber jacks <coughs> and bar jacks and just the i think we had about 15 or 16 species of fish but we had non-stop action we had an absolute ball cool and just light tackle and and just so many different kinds of fish we caught fish I haven't seen anybody catch in years. We've got <laughs> boat fish and file fish. and just crazy. So All on shrimp? If you, yeah. And, nice. Uh, nice. I want to give kudos to Wayne Collins in case you don't happen to get him on today. But Wayne runs that headboard out of Miami. Mm -hmm. And he he has a new young captain working for him. And I, unfortunately, I don't have his name with me. But the reward one and another reward... Mm -hmm have just been whacking the snappers and tunas this week. They've been vertical jigging for tunas and also chunking for tunas, and they've been doing really good on them. And then the yellow-eyed snappers and the mutton snappers have just been off the chain. Just phenomenal catches uh, out of Bayside down there. So there is some really good fishing around, but I, I got bad news for you, Joe. They had a sailfish tournament this week with 20 really top-notch boats. They fished two days. There were no slackers whatsoever. 20 really top-notch. They fished two days, and they caught 10 sailfish. What? But they did not get the weather that you'll have tomorrow. So I agree with everybody else. The sailfishing will be better tomorrow. And a tip that might help a little bit. Yep. Uh, in the last couple of days, I've seen two sailfish caught by other boats, and both of them were fishing around those gray water outflows that run out uh, like the, I saw one caught off of uh, uh, Sunny Isles Beach in one of those outflows mm -hmm. and I saw one caught off a government cut in the outflow so those outflows are in 90 feet of water those were the only sailfish I saw caught in all the boats that are out there so maybe 90 feet of water maybe one of those outflows because they do have them up the coast there as well what, what, what do you maybe mean by outflow? Go like, to catch the fish. What is? What, what do you mean? Uh, is that you mean like well, from the inlet? No, they have sewer treatment plants, and then they run these four foot diameter pipes out to ninety feet of water. Oh, I got gotcha. you. And just dispose of the gray water from the sewer treatment plant. They pump it out to ninety feet of water. It's oh. disgusting. 
Wow. It's much better than the old days when it was raw. But, uh, wow. I didn't even know they did that. Wow. Well, that's a hidden and little I, secret uh, that you didn't know about for a long time uh, there. It's kind of a stanky secret, but wow. it's out there, man. But anyway. But so 90 feet and around those little... uh those, stank. Yeah. Yeah. Stink like the... Stank. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, thanks right. for the tip, though, Captain. Yeah. I appreciate that. Sure, man. I'm sure our listeners definitely do. Well, Cap, we got to take a break here and uh, make the clock here. But, uh, hey, how, how long are you in town for and when are you going back home? Well, I'm uh, fishing with Avi yesterday. Today we're going freshwater fishing with Avi, and tomorrow we're going with Avi. And uh, and uh, then I'll probably be packing it up and heading home for a couple weeks. But I'm going to be back here for the Miami International Boat Show, so it won't, I won't be gone long. All right, Cap. Cool. Always as always, man. Thanks so very much. Yeah, thanks, Cap. Love it. Thanks, Cap, very much. Catch them up. Have a great time. And uh, stay warm, my friend. Yeah, stay warm. Definitely. Yeah, I wander all up and down the East Coast of the United States. <laughs> and with iHeartRadio, I get to listen to you guys wherever I am every Saturday. You guys do one heck of a job. Thank you. It's Thank you, Phenomenal Cap. opportunity to have some fishing on the radio. You got it. Thanks, Cap, very much. Thank you. Take a little break. We'll check out our good friend George Clark Jr. What a what a uh, travesty that was last weekend. Poor guy. He couldn't get here. Oh, his I phone. Feel so bad. He's a nice, he's an awesome Direction guy. By the way. Couldn't get him oh. here, and he made it like for the last 40 minutes of the program. Yeah. But were those damn burritos the best oh. fish burritos or tacos you've quick, ever had? Quick story on that. They're great. I, I ate half here on set, then I brought the other half with me, yeah. right? Right. Yeah. Well. You know, it just got all over me. I hit a bump. I'm trying to eat it as I'm driving on 95. Yeah, it's messy. Yeah, it got all over me. But you, it was amazing. You ate it in your truck, Joe? You know you don't do burritos or tacos uh, in a truck, I man. No, I just, it was good. It was that damn good. Yeah, wasn't it? I God, wanted to was, consume that thing quick. It I was, was like, so Arr. freaking good. He man. inhaled it in on the set. By yes. the way, yes. Uh, actually, I know. I, I you did my, yes. shots yeah. of you and yelling. Yeah, yeah, I was like a pig, man. Yeah. All right, seven o'clock at a dot. Fox Sports nine forty. Good morning to you. Live. You're staying? I uh, guess not. Oh, I'm walking, man. My, slacker. My blood's okay, freezing. Okay, bye. And when it comes to kayak fishing, nothing beats a Hobie with its hands-free Mirage Drive propulsion system. Nautical Ventures is your exclusive Hobie dealer for Broward and Palm Beach. They have the widest selection of models and accessories to make your Hobie uniquely yours. They're rigged by our in-house experts who fish the tournaments. They know what it takes to win. Go to nauticalventures.com to learn more. Nautical Ventures, the go-to people for Hobie. If you're looking to breathe new life into your boat, new motors will open up a whole new world. Nautical Ventures has several repowering options to fit your needs and budget. They carry the top brands including Mercury, Yamaha, Evinrude, Tawatsu, and a wide range of horsepower to give you all the speed you could need. Plus, they offer repower finance programs with affordable, low monthly payments. Contact Nautical Ventures today and talk to their pros about repower options. Call 954-926-5250 or go to nauticalventures.com. Nautical Ventures, the go-to people for power. Pompano Ford is your one-stop shop for everything you need. Whether you're looking for the power to tow, to ensure you get your shipment there on time, the perfect amount of space with bells and whistles for the whole family, or the ocean breeze in your hair, our award-winning sales staff is here to help you get behind the wheel. With our 21st Century Service Department and on-site Ford Certified Body Shop, Pompano Ford will keep you on the road, ready for your next adventure. Visit us today and drive home in a Ford. If you're wanting to spend more time on the water, then check out the new 2021 lineup of Sailfish Center console, dual console, and walk-around boats. For nearly four decades, Sailfish boats have been catching their limit along Florida's southeast coast, and the new 272 Center console and 27 dual console continue this proud offshore heritage. With head-turning styling, top-tier construction, and incredible on-the-water performance, Sailfish boats feature the legendary deep V variable degree stepped hull, intelligent ergonomics throughout, and a list of standard features that make Sailfish the best value among upper tier brands, deep gunnels, comfortable seating, roomy heads, plenty of storage, solid construction, and incredible performance all make Sailfish boats a must-see. Fishing focused and family friendly, Sailfish boats are versatile. Enjoy hardcore fishing in the morning, afternoon wakeboarding with the kids, and a sunset cruise with friends, all with one boat. So if you're in the market for a new boat, the entire Sailfish line is specially priced, making this the best time to join the Sailfish family. Visit Sailfish right, George Clark's on hold for more information or to find a Sailfish dealer near you. For my small bookstore to thrive, I can't just sell books. Thank so you. I created a radio ad at iHeartAdBuilder.com to tell everyone about our author events, our story hours for kids, and our amazing lattes. Now we're busier than ever. I'd call that a success story. 
A custom radio ad from iHeart Ad Builder is the fast, affordable way to drive customers to your business. Put the power of radio to work for you. Get started now at iHeartAdBuilder.com. Do you struggle with occasional nerve aches in your hands or feet? Try Nervive Nerve Relief. Nervive contains B-complex vitamins and alpha-lipoic acid to relieve nerve aches, weakness, and discomfort. Learn more at NerviveHealth.com. WINC AM Miami. WMIA FM HD3 Miami Beach. Available everywhere with the iHeartRadio app. Fox Sports 940 Miami. It's a beautiful day. Now back to the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. Powered by Mercury Marine and brought to you by Pompano Ford and Pompano Lincoln. An easy way to car. Now, here's your fishing buddies, Eric Brandon and Joe Hector. <laughs> yeah, we are, man. It's a really blustery, windy, chilly Saturday morning at the palatial Stephen J. Gray Palace. Thank you, Stephen J. Gray, for that fire. You're welcome. Man. Ooh, yeah. That fire was a lifesaver, bro. I'm yeah. serious, man. That thing is just banging. Nice. So thank you very much for that. Hour number two is here. I can't believe hour number two is here already. This show just gets Flying. faster every week, doesn't it? I know. It's crazy, man. So again, welcome to the show, folks. The Facebook streamers, thank you very much. 940, thank you very much yep. for that as well. And uh, he made it last weekend uh, with maybe 35 more, 40 minutes on the set. Yeah. But anytime with George Clark Live is invaluable. We had a blast. We had a great time, man. A <laughs> yeah. short time. Can you imagine if we had the whole two hours ago? Oh, that would have been just like I know. a hoot and nanny. You know I what I mean? Know. He's a really good guy. He's a great guy. George Clark Jr., our Key Largo specialist bar none, man. Good morning, brother. George! <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, man. I don't know if we could have lasted two hours. <laughs> we would have ate so much stuff. <laughs> we would have gained like... 12 pounds a person. Well, what's wrong with that? <laughs> like rolling around. <laughs> hey, listen, awesome. George, those, those were burritos were just bagging, man. That was just some really, good stuff, man. It was so freaking good, You know good, what? Man. You know what? Oh, I, surprised, I surprised myself, too, Eric. I I mean, we ate that, and I was like, dang, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. You know was, what I mean? He was surprised, I, too. I, I oh, wow. Myself. Well, think about this, too. George, myself, too. You, you, you showed up. We were running out of time. And think about what George did. He we cooked that stuff quick. During the show, ate it during the show. Yeah. I mean, sh- sh- I, I can't speak. You're catching my my verb. Yeah, no, thanks for yeah. your. Uh, I, I affected you. Your uh, yeah, whatever <laughs> it is. I can't speak anymore. Uh, <laughs> but George came Slurring. and in that time span was able to cook that food. Yeah, we were able to eat it. And still have a blast. Before the show Isn't actually went to a close, we actually had a yeah. bunch of There we are, being pigs on camera, well, uh, doing our thing. It was great. Yeah. <laughs> well, this this is not a, a cooking segment, so to speak of. <laughs> but, uh, but it shows you, it shows you if you prepare the stuff, yeah. how long it takes to cook. It doesn't take long to cook after fast. you've already, like, prepared it and stuff like that. Yeah. So, yeah. like, I mean, you could have people over or whatever and be like, hey, man, you want some burritos? <laughs> and they're like, yeah, that'd be awesome. And then you're like, all right. Give me five minutes because if it's already cooked, then, yeah. then you can do it. I like it. I like you know it. Do me a favor. But I, I I enjoyed it. Yeah, you gotta share that or maybe print it up uh, the, the spices you used or whatever else to put that together because that was worth repeating to the audience. And yeah, I wouldn't mind trying it myself. My yeah, album. no, I'll try it with Bonita. I mean, honestly, yeah, right? Honestly, Benita. a lot of times we just Benita. we just <laughs> throw things at the wall and see what sticks. You know. Yep. All right. So, um, yeah, I can definitely put that together, and then maybe we'll we'll put it out there for everybody. And Beautiful. you know, I mean, it probably take you about thirty minutes of prep time, ten minutes of cooking time, and it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, yeah man. man, great. All right. So now let's get on point, my friend George. What the hell's up with fishing in the Keys, man? Something happening down that way or what, bro? Uh, you know what? I fished this week. I fished yesterday. I fished a uh, uh, couple days before that right. and a couple days before that. So mm-hmm. we, we've been able to get out three or four days this week. Okay. Um, the reef the reef fight's been pretty good. Um, lots of porgies, you know. They just showed up one day. It's like, hello, we're here. Okay. <laughs> it was awesome, you know. 
lots of shrimp. You gotta you, you gotta go you gotta go to your local tackle shop, buy some shrimp, right? Put it on a jig head, throw it out there, right, and let it sit on the bottom and it's like slow and low. You know, that is the tempo. Slow Real slow, slow and low. Don't I don't like move that, it. Bro. Don't move it around. Yeah, it's some BC boy stuff right there. <laughs> for the people that don't know. Um nice. throw it out there, let it sit on the bottom, let them sniff it out, okay? Okay. And uh and what's going to happen is you're going to catch some hogfish. We've been catching a whole bunch of hogfish. On rod and reel? Go. Yeah. Out, yeah. Out, yeah. Out, that's out, awesome. They're out of season, right? As you know, they're out of season, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah but that's yeah. awesome on yeah. the... I, usually a... Yeah, no, they fight They fight great, you know? And, and you can catch them and stuff. You can release them. But uh, cool. a lot of hogfish. But if you want to catch those porgies, you're going to have to go jigs and shrimp. And then, uh, what else did we do this week? Oh, no, you know what? It was awesome. We, <laughs> we caught a bunch of mangrove snappers on the reef, dude. Oh, nice, man. And they were biting really good. And listen to this. We were catching, um, and I'm, I'm talking in like 10, 12 feet of water. We caught some really big, giant yellowtail snappers. Oh, oh wow. nice. Oh, nice, man. We yeah. caught some yellowtails. I know. I, I I looked at the people. I'm like, holy crap! That's the biggest yellowtail I've ever caught in like ten <laughs> feet of water, how, dude. How big? It's huge. You know. Nice. Um, what, how big? Joey, was like two and a half pounds. What? That's a fat. Yeah. One. That's a fatty. Yeah, that's, that's a, a fat one. Yeah, those, are, fatty. those are. I mean, those are big, right? Yeah. That's. And I was holy <laughs> crap! And, and the guy looked at me, and I'm like, dude, it's not a flag. Let's just calm it down right now. Let's <laughs> let's calm down and we'll sit down together and I'll explain this whole thing to you. Okay. I mean, guys, uh, a two pound yellowtail is not a flag. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. They're four. They're four and a half, five pounds. That's a flag. Right. Right. So just calm it down. But I'll tell you what: when you catch a two and a half pound yellowtail in ten feet of water, it's awesome, dude. No, wait, it's awesome, George. Dude. Couldn't a flag yep. be different? A flag different uh, in Miami or Broward versus the Keys? Because you guys are used to catching things bigger. That's true. Okay, and we're not so lucky up here to be catching those big ones you get there. So I could call a two pounder a flag here, and you won't call it that there. That's true. All right. Well, Eric, Eric, yeah. maybe. Would you, would right? you call? It's a good point. Would you call a twelve pound uh, mahi mahi a slammer? Well, we had this that, talk, remember? No, absolutely. With Kings. Absolutely not. No, no I'm, 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 I'm slamming. Listen, no, no, listen. No. I got I got punched in the nose when I was a kid what? when when I, I said, Oh, we caught a fifteen pound slammer and I got punched in the nose by my captain. I was like, What? <laughs> goes, nah, it's gotta be twenty five pounds, kid. That explains you a lot about I mean? George. I was like, <laughs> what do you mean? He was it's abused. Be 25 <laughs> As a judge. Well, now it's got to be 25 by captain. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Cap, you know captain what? abuse, man. Bye. Captain, beat me up. <laughs> now, three, three years later, I punched him right in his junk, too. So <laughs> <laughs> right. Hey, George, those yellowtail, yeah. when they get really big, though, don't they start getting, like, just fat? They get wide yeah. instead of length? Yeah. They yeah, get, right? They get chunky, man. Yeah, they, yeah. they look fat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. I can take you out there to a spot uh, when you come down here eventually and you don't get lost coming into the Keys. Like, I got lost going up there. <laughs> yeah, there's, only one, there's only one way um, in Georgia. I, I was that. driving around people's <laughs> neighborhoods. <and stuff. laughs> it was weird. Um, but when you come down here, I'll yeah. take you out to a spot, 150, 180 feet of water, okay. and we can go catch these big, giant yellowtails. You're not going to catch a lot of them. All right. But you will catch some big ones, and we'll we'll probably put like you know six eight together and throw them in the box. Nice, and they're going to be huge. You know Already. what I mean? So we're talking like thirty inch fish. Okay, what? You know when they get when they when they get up to that size? Right. Yeah, I mean fatties. Hey, uh, George, you have, to under, you have to understand something. <sighs> yeah, when you're in like ten twelve feet of water on the patch reefs, right? And you catch a two and a half pound yellowtail. It's like we just look at each other and we go, "We just won. We just right. won. Okay, right. That's all. All right. we won. <laughs> we won." <laughs> hey, George, you, you eat, do you eat those porgies? Do I eat them? I'm asking you. Are they table fair? Are they? Are they... <laughs> yeah. 
Huh? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Are you kidding me? I never had one. That, no, dude, it's like hogfish. No kidding. Really? Oh my god, they're so I, delicious. I've caught them with my kids before. Yeah, I've never, so never ate like, them. You look no. at the you look at the deck of the boat, right? Right. And you look down there, you go, man, that's really white. Well, that's what the meat looks like. Hmm. Okay. But so I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, when you fillet them, you have to do this. Uh, you have to fillet them. You have to cut the rib cage out. Right. Right. And then you know where the pin bones are. Okay. But you got to cut them. You got to cut them from um, the top of the fillet all the way to the tail. Because the pin bones run all the way down there. So, like, if you don't get them all out, man, you're going to have that one person that comes over and is like, right. I don't really like fish, all but right. I'll try what you all cook. Right. And then they're going to get a George, bone. Stop and right they're going to be like, I, I know all I don't right. like fish. If I got to go with that much work for a piece of fish, putting <laughs> out, I knew it. Putting I, out pin bones, and well, are you I'm not me? going through all that. We hope you enjoyed Eric. this. Hell with Captain no. George. No, no. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll trade you a couple of porgy fillets for some mahi. I'm, 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 that's too much damn work, George. I'm you know what, dude? No, what, bro? You know what, dude? Oh, I'm, I'm looking what, at man? the wall right now. There's there's nothing on the wall that I'm looking at, uh-huh. and I'm very upset with you. I'm very upset with you, Eric. Oh, okay. Eric. Join the club, George. There's a lot and of guys. You know, Take you know I me. love you like a brother. Yeah, same here, man. <laughs> loved you all these years. <laughs> but listen. What? You have to understand something. You have to think outside of the box, dude. Thank right. you. I've yes. been telling him this for a year. He's in the you box. That's the problem. things, man. <laughs> Okay. He gave me the look, George. All right, man. He gave me the look. All right, George. I know. He's not I'm listening. I will go ahead. And let me tell you something. Eat a porgy. If okay, Penny look. was there, if Penny was there right now next to you, she'd yeah. bite you in the neck. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> no, I'm serious. All right, uh, that's hey. an image. Yeah, okay. George, the clock says I got to rock, man. I'm sorry, buddy, to cut you off here, man. But we got to make these commercial breaks. But hey, man, it was a joy last weekend. The, the burritos were just banging great. Thanks so much for that. Yeah. Traveling up here from the Keys like you did. Yeah. <laughs> lost in every neighborhood with the right one. Thank you, man. It's okay. a lot easier for you to find me. All you have to do is drive south. Just drive bro. south, man. All right. Just George. drive south and bring the whole crew, and we'll come down here, and we'll plan it out. You got it. And I'm going to make some more shrimp and... And before you go, burritos. before you go, <laughs> no. man, uh, Fish Guys uh, Discovery Channel is running currently. Your fifth season is going, yes, right? Sir. Fifth season. Sunday yeah, morning. Sunday at 7 a.m. Out. So tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Yep. Eastern is my tournament. On Discovery Channel. Are you coming? I'll, I'll watch for you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. You uh, got yes. It. Okay. <laughs> George, are you coming tomorrow? I know. I know. Joe, I can't make it. Oh. Yeah. That's all right. I can't. He, 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 I understand. He had that long ass ride last bro. weekend, Joe. Let him take That's a break. That's true. Okay? That's true. Yeah, okay. That's true. All right, I was George. going to be there today, but listen, I'll be there. All right. We lost George. Oops. All right. Don't, there's no worries. But anyway, thank you, George. Great guy. We love you, George. He's a man. Yeah. All right. Take a little break. We have uh, Norm Beckoff on deck next. Norm! 730, Jennifer Gray Warren will tell us this Arctic blast and what the hell's going on. Kevin yes. Deb Dale is still coming up. And we have the toy chest, which is really a cool one this weekend. Really? It's right up your alley, bro. Oh, you Kayak? Know? It's, Paddleboard? Uh, yeah, I'm Kayak? Not, you, Paddleboard? Why do you want to give away the Stop. secret already, man? Let the damn thing open up and we see what pops out. <laughs> yeah, 717, Fox Sports 940. Live. Cold, man. When it comes to ah. fishing, nautical ventures. Burr. We're staying. Let's see what our Facebook folks are saying this morning, JoJo. Uh, Dick Alexander, Joe Hector, hey, brother, sorry, I can't make it this weekend running the Rolex 24 in Daytona. Oh, that's awesome. Is he like a... Race car driver. Race car driver, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, Greg Ray say, pigs on camera. It looks way too cold there. Okay. No, Eric looks like he's fr- freezing in the Arctic. Dude, it's I It's not that so Come on, freaking man. freaking cold, Oh, man. my gosh. It's 51. By the way, it did go down two degrees while we started the show. It was 53, now it's 51. Lori Wagner says, uh, good morning, boys. Fins up, but wear gloves and sweaters, LOL. Okay, well... No, we're trying. But that fire, man, that seriously saved the morning. That thing is still nice and roasty-toasty, man. I'm like, oh, yeah. Hey, 
Oh yeah, badass. Yeah, Dagan, thank you so much, brother. I appreciate it. So, You're the man. Well, You're welcome anytime, man. Ask you about your yes, tournament, yes. Joe, and on the break here, man. So, what kind of prep are you still planning for tomorrow? You got to move things out to the beach. Yeah, so stuff out there, or what do you got? Well, do? so this this tournament's not like uh, the Summer Slam with like the stage and all that. Yeah. Uh, but we still have stuff that we have to get done tomorrow. I got to meet with the city over there. Uh, we got to get the power going because they don't. Uh, where we're at, they turn that off. Okay. So I have to go and meet the guys from the city. Uh, we got to open some things. We got to get the power on and go over some other stuff. Uh, just prepping for for Saturday, but and then I got to pick up a bunch of stuff. You don't head out today to the beach. You're not really going to be out there today doing any kind of setup, are you? Well, no, that's today. Yeah, because oh, the tournament's so, tomorrow. I'm saying, but you're, you'll be out there today doing the setup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll be out there. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna check it out too and just see how it is. And, All right, you know. It's gonna be cold. I'm really, I'm really curious to see though tomorrow morning with the temperature wise, just how nippy that's going to be at launch time. I'm really. It'll curious. be cold, so man. Yeah. We've been, you and I have been talking about what the guest of it might be on the temperature tomorrow morning. Yeah. I've heard several reports like it's, it's all different. Super dead ass cold on Sunday. I've heard different stories. We've yeah. Heard, you know, but we don't know what to expect. I'm, I, I mean, I'm going to say <coughs> thirty nine forty yeah. to forty one in the morning. That's my prediction. I don't know. Some are saying 35. Some are saying 42. Some are saying 46. So yeah, again, but these heavy winds are going to be gone. Exactly. So it's kind of like, and it's going to be a sunny day. You know what I mean? Yeah. But High 65. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I think, I think, I don't know. I think it might be a little warmer than we think. Yeah, it's going to be brisk cold. in the morning. It's going to be brisk but in the morning a little bit, the but guys it's going to warm up. The guys the yaks have got to be wore something warm. That's for damn sure. Oh, my gosh. Be dressed, they have to. got to be dressed for the occasion. Yes. Okay. And right. we're going to check, you know, we'll, you know, safety for me is, is number one. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, for me doing this for over a decade, every tournament is, uh, it, it, you know, risky for what What's, what's the offshore uh, conditions are going to be like tomorrow, wave-wise? Are we going to um, east wind, west wind? What, yeah, so what's it, it, it's going to be a, a, a northwest right. in the morning. So it's going to be a little bit Then flatter. it changes to a north. Okay. Which, so it'll still be pretty flat. And right. then um, it changes to like a, I think a... Or no, I think it stays north for most of the day, okay. and then it swings maybe like a northeast, but we're already out of the water by then. All right. Yeah. So you guys are going to be, they're not going to be veg. Wake up. Wake up, friends. Wake up. I want to wake up. I woke up this morning, baby. Wake up, 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 wake up to the sound. You're waking up to the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show with expert trawler Eric Brandon. Here comes the king of hits. Plus extreme angler Joe Hector. This is more than we bargained for. Powered by Mercury Marine. And brought to you by Pompano Ford and Pompano Lincoln. An easy way to car. To talk to fellow fishing fans, call 866-801-0940 or send us a message on the Nautical Ventures Facebook page. It's the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. Yeah, it is on a chilly Saturday morning here at the you Stephen J. Gray Ranch, man. And we're doing our thing. No, no, no. Keep playing more of that stuff, Stephen J. Gray. And my ass is going to warm up real quick. We man. need the. Okay, you got it. Yeah, you can put some headbang and stuff. I like up. it. I want the warm Joe, me up. I want the Joe Hector playlist the rest of the show, man, okay? His name is Eric. Oh. Oh. Sorry. The music came <laughs> off. <laughs> You're still good solo, Joe. Thank okay? you. Anyway. Oh, we're so, back. You were back. Uh, Norm Beckhoff and I chatted last night a little really? bit. And uh, he said things have been a little challenging, as it has been for, like, Jimbo Thomas yesterday was saying it was challenging. So mm -hmm. challenging is the word for January, bro. It's just the way it is. Yeah. I don't know. Let Norm tell us how challenging it was. Challenging. <laughs> is that the word? That's the word, man. Okay. Hashtag. Norm, what's up, baby? Yeah, challenging is a good word for it. Some people might say it has sucked. <laughs> I kind of like your brother. Why don't you tell us how you really okay. feel about I it? Yeah, Say the I word like sucked was pretty much a good one to term it up. Yeah, I like okay. the sucked one. Yeah, yeah. sucked. It's it's a little sucked. better. Anyway. A little more real. Yeah. Go ahead, Norm. But Talk. I will tell. But but there are there are some bright spots. Okay, uh, and like I've been saying all month, you've got to be prepared to do a couple of different things. Maybe switch things up a little bit. And uh, not just do your usual routine. We talked a little bit about that last night too, Eric. Yeah, we did. Yep. Um, yep. You know, uh, if you if you're the kind of guy that's got a set plan on how you fish, 
every single time, no matter what the conditions are, uh, you might have some disappointments, okay? And there's been a lot of guys going out there and getting disappointed. Yeah. Um, I, I will tell you what the bright spots have been. Uh, the uh, the shrimp run this, this month has been just nothing short of phenomenal. And because of that, the inshore fishing and the light tackle fishing has been very good. Awesome. Okay. Uh, the tarpon fishing, the snook fishing. Uh, you know, any, any, any way that you can get inshore and, and do some fishing when the, when the, uh, fronts come through, uh, it's, it's gonna be really good, okay? So there's a lot of guys with their bay boats and their backcountry boats and stuff like that, and they're, they're doing well. They're having a good month. Good. So that's, that's been the, that's been the, uh, the highlight. Uh, there's been some bottom fishing, uh, in Broward County that's been okay. I'm not going to say it's been great. The yellowtails have been okay. okay. Uh, some decent fish up to 18 inches. So that's not bad in Broward. Uh, but, uh, you know, if you're vermilion snapper fishing, there's been a lot of short vermilions being caught. So you got to be careful with that. Uh, golden tiles uh, are open, uh, but you got to be careful when you're golden tile fishing. You catch some snowies. Uh, you better make sure that you're in state waters and not in federal waters when you catch them because they're closed in federal and open in state. Okay. Hmm. So, and blue line tiles are closed. So you got to be careful. You know, you got to be half a lawyer when you're bottom fishing in, 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 in the state of Florida right right now this month. Gotcha. Um, the, guys, the guys catching sailfish are. It's, they're staying steady. I mean, there's the uh, you know when the wind blows, they get the kites up and they can catch some sailfish. When the kite, when the when the winds aren't blowing too hard, uh, you ca- you catch the live ballyhoos and you're catching them that way. So that's been about the story. But the trolling bite has been just atrocious. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> or as you said before, it sucks. Yeah. Sucks. Yeah. yeah. Sucks. Yeah. No, uh, Norm. Uh, the other uh, thing that's ha- yeah. Go ahead. What, what's your prediction uh, after the front? You think the bite will pick up for the sailfish? Joe, I think God is smiling on you for some reason. <sighs> okay, I don't know what's going on. Okay, but you're you got it scheduled out so that <laughs> the strong your tournament is after the strongest front of the year. Nice. If it doesn't, if nice. they don't. If they don't chew, then we, we got a problem. There's something else wrong. We right. got a problem. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. I'm you should have some, dude. You. Should, I mean, I'm telling you right now, it it, it should go off. It really should go off. Okay. Yeah. I I would expect that the next couple of days the sail fishing should be some of the best that we've seen this year yet. Awesome. That makes me happy. Oh. It's good news for you, Joe. So yeah. a good uh, prediction to me, buddy. Yeah. Right. It seems like every yeah. captain, too, is just saying the same yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah. So we're, we're, we're excited, man. All right. So yeah. what, what, what do you think things will stop sucking, Norm? Like in February, maybe? April? Man, I don't when? know. Well, I don't when, know. man? You know, every, every, every year, you know, we, we always have these. We've been talking about this for a few months now, and it seems like, you know, every year it just keeps changing and the patterns keep getting pushed up. And it, it seems, you know, this is the time of, this, right now, this is the time of the year that should be historically some of our best fishing. I mean, right. we should be able to go out there and whack the big kings and catch sails and catch, you know, and, and catch a few mahis here and there mm-hmm. uh, or go to the, go to our bottom spots and anchor up and catch gags. And, you know, I mean, it's just none of that. It's all gone. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we right. haven't seen any of that kind of fishing all year yet. And it, it's just, I don't know what's going on with the patterns, the bait patterns, is everything is off. So uh, if I had to make a prediction on when the fishing's going to turn around, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd say probably March or April. Okay. All right. Well, with that yeah. happy note, we have to make a break here. But Norm, uh, a smart man like you, the finest kind, is not going out in this stuff today, are you? Everybody, if this is the day to do it, make your honeydew list or grab that, dust it off, yeah. and make the wife happy. Take her to Ikea or do something like that. <laughs> yeah, you know? Just stay on the boat. Don't, get out of that wind, man. Stay little Bed stuff. Bath & Beyond or something. Something, today, yeah, right? man. Yeah, don't, yeah don't exactly. Water, something. Man. Woo. Yeah, exactly. you could pay me to be on a boat. Today. Yeah, you don't want to go to IKEA because then you have to put that crap together. <laughs> yeah, true, true. <laughs> <laughs> and that, oh. as Norm says, sucks. Okay, right. But anyway, Norm, <laughs> thank you, baby. Thanks so much, man. The finest kind. You're the man, dude. Thanks, bud. Uh, 
Take it easy, guys. Uh, and, uh, and good luck in the tournament tomorrow, uh, Joe. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. Hey, Norma Sand okay. tomorrow should be banging, Joe. So, if so, did, so did Captain Bouncer, too. And Bouncer, remember? too. And yeah. so uh, these guys are saying, wow. you should have an epic day, man. So I'm, wow, I can't wait to hear. They're all pulling yeah. for you, bro. Yeah, I, I, I'm excited, man. It's I really great. am. We'll take a little break. Come back at the uh, force, forecast. Of the force, huh? Yeah, the, the force. Will you, and the force you. is getting you know, strong. Know, you know, you know, Jen Gray Warren will be up next with the Captain Deb Dale, uh, Toy Chest Ahead, man. You guys just hang on with us. We all freeze together. 728, yes. Fox Sports, 940. Live. I'm, I'm going to stand up and go by that fire, yeah, me man. me too. Oh, are you, taking, are you staying on or no? No, I'm staying on. I'm just going to take my yeah, headphones me too. over here and probably melt your headphone. Thanks. But this fire, man, is just, God, it's spot on, bro. Oh, there we go. We can just walk. Well, if you want to just stay there for the rest of the show, you pull your chairs over there, we can zoom the camera and you can stay there. Ooh, you want to? Eric, stop crying. I just got a whole batch of Eric. smoke up my eyeballs. <laughs> Eric... <laughs> As long as your hair doesn't catch on fire, we're good. Steven, if you can, wa- <laughs> if you can watch the waterway, bro, and the, and actually the wave action out here, man, that's actually I've never seen your your canal. I have the boat punched up right now. Wavy, it's it's got some serious ripples. Yeah, we out got there, the bro. boat punched up right now, and it's I, I do think I have a rope down really really good there. Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> it's definitely blown out there, bro. Big time. Don't want my mercury outboard blown away. Yeah, you losing that bad boy. That's for no. damn sure. No, hell no, no. I see you have a little uh, coverage for the birds over there. Nice, you put a little tarp up to keep them. Keep yeah, them well, the tarps are for tonight because to remember, guys, tomorrow freak, yeah. morning or overnight where will be its coldest. Um, but um, you know, once they, at once you know, tomorrow morning that it comes off. So don't they tell you to bring like your animals in on these really chilly days? Like maybe you should bring the whole flock of birds inside the house. <laughs> it's not necessary. <laughs> Bring Penny in and all the birds and let we, them come inside the crib, dude. Yeah. I was at I was at a finish line, a horse place yesterday. Check with some other trainers and people. As they said, it's not necessary for her. Okay. So, all right. Okay. Well, she only comes in for hurricanes when we got 150 mile an hour winds. Then that's uh, that's too dangerous for her. Gotcha. Okay. Does she when she comes in? Does she just hang out on the couch? No, like- no. We we block off an area in the hallway that you cut through to get to the set, and basically we put down tarps, and then we put all her uh, uh, shavings down, so she has like her own little little indoor pen so okay do you put like a uh, horsey diaper on her no no we have to pick it up and when she goes once in a while but the, here's the thing she's a house wrecker if we leave her in the house she'll start knocking things down and going oh, through things God, you know I can't even yeah. eating yes. everything that well the, yeah right yes yeah, i can't fathom a, what's that what happened wayne Khan says call me if you need me okay um we're trying to get some guys on wayne if you're listening on the facebook stream uh we're trying to get guys on but it's it's really we're tight on time here man it's pretty much a loaded potato right now. Yeah. Ah, oh, God, that fire feels good, man. Seriously. Man, that really gets me excited about um, the bite after this fire. They're all man. saying, man, tomorrow you might have, yeah. I, I'm looking forward to hearing. After I hope the- we can break our own record. Uh, I think our record was 32 in, uh, in in a day. Yeah, okay. So that's amazing, that stat with that other tournament. Will you be doing some vid? You can roll on the show. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll do my live feeds and stuff like that. What you got, Eric? Says some stuff uh, to me. Talk to who? What? No wow. problem. Okay. Oh, it's something better. Yeah. It's the got horse. We got Deb. Uh, may not have Jen. Okay. You want me to get weather ready? If you'd like to, with your lovely radar, radar weather jingle thing. It's a, let me get the satellite. You know, Stephen, actually, when I bought extra uh, bits of wood for the show for us today to keep us warm. He Did went, he really? He dropped a dime to keep us warm out here. Today. It wasn't a lot. Yeah, but he bought some. That wood, by the way, how's it light so damn fast? But it's a Home Depot wood. I can show you some. I have more in the shed. Is there like uh, some, some fluid built into it? I don't know. Well, no, we use kindling and we use God, the regular wood. There's a couple things. lights fast, man. There's you, three things going on there. Well, you buy those little, uh, that's what I do. I buy those little, um, it's a box. You can get them at Publix. You stick it in, you light it, yeah. and it, it starts the whole shabam. Is it called a fire starter? Yeah. <laughs> I believe so. <laughs> something like that. I think I've seen them sold, man. Fire starters or something, yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I think. Oh, I like that shot. He's doing the up shot. Nice. I'm gonna put my ass across. I'm putting my ass across this fire, bro. Just Dude. sit on it. <sighs> Don't get that fire dirty. God, does that feel good? <laughs> <laughs> that look like a good.
good warm fart. Realize, Joe, where you're standing. If he farts, you could explode there. <laughs> I got a nice yeah, warm, right. warm crack going here, man. This is nice. Oh, yeah. that's nasty. <laughs> I never said I was a gentleman. Okay, trust me. <laughs> I'm far, far from it, pal. Okay. If you're just one, joining us on Facebook, welcome to the warm, warm crack segment of the show. Right. <laughs> it feels good on my ass, man. Okay, because I'm cold, bro. Give me a break. You're cold. I couldn't sleep at all. It's hard to sleep on Friday night thinking about fishing on Saturday. It's the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. Powered by Mercury Marine and brought to you by Papano Ford and Papano Lincoln. An easy way to car. To talk fishing, call Eric Brandon and Joe Hector at 866-801-0940. Listen on the radio or watch us on the Nautical Ventures Facebook page. The Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show. Yeah, welcome to the crazy train. That's all of us out here in the weather doing a radio aye, show. Aye, cold, aye, cold, aye, cold, aye, cold, aye, cold, aye, cold, aye. cold, cold, right, right, now, now. So, Jen, I think, didn't answer the phone. Oh, really? I really wanted to talk to her, too. Yeah, she may Darn. be covered. She may actually be in the studio doing weather for CNN. Probably, Maybe, yeah. Okay. With this? So, Stephen J. Gray, you, yes. you do a great job as the weather fill-in. Why don't you play a little weather jingle and tell us what the hell's up with the All weather. right, I'll do the uh, weather jingle for you guys here, and uh, I guess it's time. Yeah, it's from the, uh, of course, uh, Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman uh, Studios here. Today's forecast, uh, sunny with a high near 60, wind chill values as low as 42 early, windy with northwest winds 15 to 21 miles per hour with gusts as high as 29 miles per hour. Now, earlier we had some uh, 40 mile an hour gusts that were really, really bad. Uh, yeah. To Tomorrow or tonight, mostly uh, clear, with low around 38. Wind chill values as low as 31. North wind uh, around 11 miles per hour, so the winds are going to be calming down. Uh, Sunday forecast, Sunday fun day, and Sunday tournament day. Sunny with a high near uh, 63. Wind chill values as low as 31 early in the morning, so dress up. North wind 10 to 13 miles per hour with gusts as high as 18. So, But the winds are going to be way down, way so down. come on out. Have some fun at the uh, big yeah. tournament tomorrow, right? Yeah. That, that was a weather forecast there, bro. There we go. Nice job there, Steve and Jake Gray, man. Thank you. Now, are you guys going to stay there, standing there? Because I have to reset the other camera if you are. Uh, uh, you, you, well, you're the director. You want us in chairs? No, you can chair? stay there. If you want to stay there, stay there. i got to reset the camera, and you can talk to Dad, Captain Dad. It just feels so different. Just stay, stay, stay there, and I'll reset the camera. No problem. Joe, are you cool with standing up here? I love it. It's great, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, we're standing, man. Yeah, we'll stand. Where's the, right. where's the s'mores at? Do you bring them the marshmallow <laughs> <right here? laughs> Get Captain Deb on. I'm going to set you on the camera up. All right. So down to the keys we go. I yep. think she says she's been freezing her tail off for a few days, but uh, she's always a trooper, man. She's hardcore, man. You can't oh, yeah. stop her, can you? No, Joe? you can't. No. Nah, nah. Captain Deb Dale. Howdy doody. How you doing down there? Hello, Captain Deb. Yeehaw, boys. How's it going? Are y'all freezing yet? Because I sure am. <laughs> <laughs> we got some pretty cool uh, nuggets going over here, man. It's it's a little it's a little frosty out here. One's blowing like a bear, man. What's it like down where you are? Well, I'm standing in my kitchen and sitting on a fishing boat right now because it's blowing probably like gust of thirty, Ooh. and it's really cold outside. So I went outside and I turned back around and came back in and started making breakfast. <laughs> Oh, uh, what you have for breakfast? What's some kind of breakfast you having? Like a couple of eggs and pancakes? What are you doing um, for breakfast? A spinach and cheese omelet. Oh, okay. I thought it was be more of a southern thing with maybe some catfish and and grits and stuff. I don't know what I'm thinking about. I don't know. I grits? Can make, I can make some um, porgy and grits. They're pretty good. You guys yeah. were talking to uh, George earlier about porgies. Man, that is a Key Largo pork chop. Is that really that good? Is yeah. one of the best white meat you'll ever eat. Absolutely. Well, I will tell you this. Joe and I both admitted we both never eaten porgy. So, uh, You're right. Joe, that's on our list, man. I've right? never had a porgy. We're going to have to try it. Have you ever had a pollywog? Never had a pollywog. How about a tog tog? I've had an arapaima sandwich. Oh, okay. You've had, <laughs> you've had, had a frog tog. <laughs> oh, you've had a tog tog? I've had a frog tog in oh. my face when I'm driving down the street. <laughs> frog tog. <laughs> All right, Deb. So anything biting this past week or so? What's been happening with you? Um, everything's been pretty good. I've chartered one day this week, and, um, you know, the bike's been okay. It's not been the greatest. We still don't have a lot of current. 
There have been a lot of selfish around, Joe. A Ooh. whole lot of selfish oh, around. Nice. Yes. So, you know, there was two tournaments this past week, and um, it's um, it's really good. So, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to your tournament, and uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to make it up there, but um, sure, you're going to have probably one of the best self-fishing days you've ever had. Oh, Did you hear that, man, Joe? I love Did you hearing hear that, this. Joe? She said one of the best selfish days ever Ooh. tomorrow, Joe. Because she's doing. Yeah, this is our. This is the coldest we've been in years. I remember sitting down in Key West in 1989, sitting on the bench outside a Key West aquarium in 44 degrees in a winter coat with my parents. Wow. And I think I don't think it's been that cold till this coming. So this big front coming down, that's going to turn those selfish on, and they're going to bite like fire. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to so be nuts. After the front goes through, though, Deb, down at the Keys, is that going to fire up your fishing down there as well, do you think? Sure, it should. I think so. Uh, it, it definitely should, um, you know, turn on the selfish down here, like up north, and maybe some wahoo. But um, I'm, I'm, going, I'm going in inshore this week, so I'm going to head out in my little boat, um, started some new business ventures, and, <coughs> and add a couple boats to the fleet. So <coughs> I'm excited about nice. what's going on in 2022. That's good so to guys, hear. Saying that, yeah, so saying that, um, if you guys want to go fishing, look me up, Blue Water Girl Charters, and uh, we are ready to go. Yeah, I see an Instagram uh, posting up with Blue Girl Charters, and it uh, looks pretty cool what you posted there, was was just neat. But expanding, as Joe will tell you, was always a great enterprise to do. Oh, yeah. You know, thinking outside the box, which Joe does quite often, I might sure, add. Sure, right? Yeah. Hey, listen, I, I love entrepreneurship and uh, everything that goes with it, and... You know, I think, especially in these times, listen, everyone tells you, oh, it's a risk. It's a risk. Yeah. Well, I, to me, I think it's just, it's the same amount of risk if you're working nine to five, nine to five yeah. for somebody else's dream yeah. than if you're doing your own dream and trying to make a buck for yourself. So, to me, it's all a risk. So, you might as well, if you have the opportunity, yeah. um, go for it. You there know, you go, man. go for glory. You for know? sure, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Just you know, like me. You know, I, I was a nurse in North Carolina. I took three hundred dollars in my truck and came to the Keys on a dream to go fishing. So That's yes, awesome. um, I do have a I do have a, a dream here in Key Largo to to start an all women's fleet that's and awesome. that's what i'm working on that is i'm great. proud of you that is great deb good yeah. luck with that you, i know you'd be a home run there for sure oh yeah anything yeah. you need from me too any advice whatever just give me a call and i'm always there to help i've got a random question that. joe would ask deb just a random thought uh -oh. deb, what fish have you never caught in your career that's on your a list? rooster fish a uh, rooster. Okay, those are primarily where, like in Costa Rica. Yeah, yeah they're, yes. they're South American. Yeah, kind of South fish. American fish, I think. So yeah. that's um, that's what it comes to I mind. I haven't caught a yellowfin tuna. Okay. And and um, I haven't caught a queen snapper or a barrel fish like bouncer the other day. Oh, nice. I'm glad I asked her. So you got like two or three that's on the okay. bucket list. Yeah, catch. any anything like deep dropping, I really haven't. You know, been but you know inshore. Um, around the flat, you know, I've caught bonefish, permit, tarpon, you know, pretty much a lot of them. So I just, I just chase. If it's got a tail, I'm going to chase it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very cool. Hey, Deb, real quick, something else that comes to mind uh, when you take people out for a fish day. What may I ask you? What you charge for like a half day? What's your, what's your, what's your, what's your rate down that way? Uh, we're still working on rates for different adventures right now. Okay, but um. Offshore will run anywhere from, you know, a thousand on a on a half day up to anywhere from fifteen to sixteen hundred on a full day. Which cool. is pretty much common. That's pretty much common yeah. fee, right? Mm -hmm. Deb, yeah. Down that way, yeah. And you get your money worth to get Deb uh, entertaining you with her jokes and her yeah. and her great personality, and uh, you you catch fish because Dan no we know she catches fish. Man. She's the whole package, man. My gosh, yeah, yeah Deb. So yeah. anyway, give us your numbers to fish with you and get these things and make you some money, girl. Absolutely. It's Blue Water Girl Charters. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram. My telephone number is 305-896-3768. Well, Deb, I know you're not fishing today. Enjoy that uh, spinach uh, omelet thing you're having this morning. Enjoy it and uh, take the day off and stay warm, I guess. Yeah, you're the like best, Captain Deb. You know what I mean? I appreciate it, boys. Y'all have a wonderful day and stay warm. And, and by the way, just so you know, that one time you made the appearance on the set here, 
one of our record-setting uh, shows. Uh, people loved you on the program. Uh, the whole world was watching you, so you were fun, great. And uh, we're going to do it again. For, you're coming back, okay? Yeah, I can't wait to be back on set with you guys. That was probably one of the best days. I had a wonderful day doing <laughs> awesome. that. And it was love fun. Love it. It Thanks. was fun. Cool. Thank you, Deb. See ya. All right. Bye. She's awesome. She is the best. Uh, for the break, real quick, uh, super plug for our friends at Mercury Marine Joe. Oh, yeah. They've got some good things happening. I'll be posting all these new videos they have on uh, Mercury's uh, Facebook page and mm -hmm. their website, whatever else. Uh, again, the 600 horsepower V12 is still the talk of the town. Uh, the boat show's coming up uh, in February. Yeah. They'll have all their models out there at the Miami Boat Show, <laughs> including that big, badass 600 horsepower beast, I might add. <clears throat> some great uh, interactive stuff with the family to get involved with as well. Again, the repower thing's going strong. If you got an old clunker on the back of your boat, you can definitely repower at any authorized dealership, especially at Nautical Ventures, I might add, our great sponsor. Stephen J. Gray, your 50 horsepower still running great? Still smoking along? And oh, man, it runs really, really good. I, lo I love my boat, and I'll, I'll bring it up so you guys can see it on camera here. Uh, of course, the camera's shaking a little bit because of the uh, oh, uh, conditions right now. <laughs> but, uh, uh, no, I, it's uh, it's one of my, my favorite things uh, to enjoy. You know, with the COVID, and it, at that, it was a lifesaver because with COVID, when everybody was locked down, I was on the boat, you know, cruising uh, in the lake back and forth and having a blast, taking yeah. neighbors for rides, and just really in enjoying life. So, it, and with the gas prices the way they are so ridiculous right now yeah. that mercury motor purrs on fuel and for anyone running an older two-stroke motor i had an older two-stroke mercury yep. i could i didn't need to get this motor i'm glad i did because uh it's saving me so much on fuel and it's just wonderful and it's much quieter too by the way uh outstanding so getting repowered nautical ventures uh, do like steven j gray uh get a brand new motor to back of your boat be happy take a little break Joe. we have a toy chest coming up and Ooh. we'll talk about your tournament all that next yeah at Fox Sports 940. Live. Nothing beats the... Whew. Between you and fighting a monster fish. And when it comes to kayak fishing, nothing beats a Hobie. With its hands-free Mirage Drive propulsion system, Nautical Ventures is your exclusive Hobie dealer for Broward and Palm Beach. They have the widest selection of models and accessories to make your Hobie uniquely yours. They're rigged by our in-house experts who fish the tournaments. They know what it takes to win. Go to nauticalventures.com to learn more. Nautical Ventures, the go-to people for Hobie. If you're wanting to spend more time on the water, then check out the new 2021 lineup of Sailfish Center console, dual console, and walk-around boats. For nearly four decades, Sailfish boats have been catching their limit along Florida's southeast coast, and the new 272 Center console and 27 dual console continue this proud offshore heritage. With head-turning styling, top-tier construction, and incredible on-the-water performance, Sailfish boats feature the legendary deep V variable degree stepped hull, intelligent ergonomics throughout, and a list of standard features that make Sailfish the best value among upper tier brands, deep gunnels, comfortable seating, roomy heads, plenty of storage, solid construction, and incredible performance all make Sailfish boats a must-see. Fishing focused and family friendly, Sailfish boats are versatile. Enjoy hardcore fishing in the morning, afternoon wakeboarding with the kids, and a sunset cruise with friends, all with one boat. So if you're in the market for a new boat, the entire Sailfish line is specially priced, making this the best time to join the Sailfish family. Visit SailfishBoats.com for more information or to find a Sailfish dealer near you. No outboard moves from zero to top speed quicker than a Mercury V8 300 horsepower Pro XS. Featuring generous displacement and a performance-tuned powerhead for industry-leading acceleration and top speed. In South Florida, the 300 horsepower Pro XS is perfect for bay and flats boats when you need to cover a lot of water fast. Pro XS simply can't be beat when it comes to performance and reliability. The 300 horsepower Pro XS has everything you need to travel faster, farther, and harder. If you're looking to breathe new life into your boat, new motors will open up a whole new world. Nautical Ventures has several repowering options to fit your needs and budget. They carry the top brands including Mercury, Yamaha, Evinrude, Tawatsu, and a wide range of horsepower to give you all the speed you could need. Plus, they offer repower finance programs with affordable, low monthly payments. Contact Nautical Ventures today and talk to their pros about repower options. Call 954-926-5250 or go to nauticalventures.com. Nautical Ventures, the go-to people for power. Remember the glory days of gasoline? It's just not made the same anymore. Kick your gas into gear with StarTron. Pump up the performance in all of your engines. Cure the problems of ethanol with the power of enzymes. And maximize your mileage every time.
time you drive. Kickstart your engines with StarTron. Can't get enough Miami Dolphins. Got a little bit of time if you want to say hello to anybody real quick. Last chance, gentlemen. Let's see here. Norm had just tuned in. Hello, Norm. Norm, yep. Uh, Greg Ray. How's it going, Greg? What's up, Greg? By the way, these guys are standing because you're next to the fireplace, right? That's exactly where we're standing because we're oh, smart, yes. man. It's nice and warm over here. It feels good. There we man. go, Howard. See, Howard Kirk says, Togs are delicious. Togs? Yeah. Tog togs. Tog togs. Is that like a, Black fish. Is that a Jersey fish? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You ever hey, have them? Is there something like similar to them down here? No. Okay. Yeah. Unique because you guys are unique. How about a polywog? That sounds like a tadpole to me. <laughs> <laughs> it is. A polywog. It is. It is a tadpole? It's a tadpole. Okay. Then I, all right. Now wow. Have, you yeah. got it. Let me fry up a whole big old pan of tadpole polywogs, man. I wonder how a tadpole tastes. Crunchy, I think, if you cook them right. No, they're mushy. If you, if you cook them right. They're just a belly and a tail. Well, drop them some hot oil. Let's do it. Okay, watch them. I mean, uh, heck, we did up. Bonita. Why not do polywogs? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if people will know. You know, we're going to cook up making, polywogs today. We're making people just totally lose their breakfast appetite, man. Probably. Okay? Uh, uh, we're not letting Penny out because I don't want her ass to catch on fire with the. the yeah, it's a very fire good there, smart okay? move. Yeah, good yes. move. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you have the toy chest uh, vid I sent you? Oh, uh, no, which one? The, the one that we're doing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh huh. Come on, man. George Tice. Hello, George. He says, Blind Angler of Southwest Florida says hi. Well, we appreciate You're catching all the fish because you're tuned into the Nautical Ventures Weekly Fisherman Show, powered by Mercury Marine. Oh, catch all the fish. Bring all oh, there. The With your hosts, two legendary fishermen, Eric Brandon and Joe Hector. Oh, I certainly admire people who do things. Brought to you by Pompano Ford and Pompano Lincoln. An easy way to car. You're just the guy I want to see. Glad you're here. Drop the guys a line at 866-801-0940. One ringy dingy. And now, while you drink all the fish and catch all the beer. Come on, pull yourself together. It's back to Eric Brandon and Joe Hector on the Nautical Ventures Weekly. Fisherman Show. I don't recall ever standing for the last half of a show, Joe. Me either. But I like it. We're smart guys because the fire's over here. Right. Courtesy of CMJ Gray. This is the place to be, man. So we're oh, standing yeah. and doing our show. It's nice and comfy over here. It is time for the Nautical Ventures toy chest to open that sucker up there, Stephen J. Gray, if you would. These are all things that Nautical Ventures carries, Joe. All neat things that you don't normally see, but we're exposing the public to, right? Wow, how cool does that sound, huh? Yeah. This is a Hobie Mirage Lynx. This is a very cool yak. Just in time, of course, for your big thing tomorrow, okay? Oh, yeah. Now, if you go on and see the Facebook stream, you'll see the video running on it. Yeah. But some of the things, in case you're listening on the radio, you've got uh, just this great lightweight Ace Tech construction. Special material that makes this boat lighter and stronger, right? You've got elevated seating and breathable mono mesh fabric. Fish finder and power pole ready. You can put a power pole on this bad boy, man. Nice. Think about it, Joe. You've got um, a boat storage with bungee and tie downs. Seat mounted cup holders. Dual steering removable uh, rudder system. And again, it's lightweight. It's uh, versatile, can go anywhere you want to go, and it's not overly large, so it's easy to handle, Joe, which is great. That's, I you think, know, it, yeah, you know, especially. For you, you guys, like, I mean, you like the smaller yaks, like the big, I, I like. Had, I had a tandem before, which is, that's a big ooh, yak. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, those, yeah. Those can be, the thing is, like, if you're going to go by yourself, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, which you shouldn't do that a lot if you're going to go offshore, but if you are going to do it, yeah. um, it's great to have a lighter kayak that you can maneuver around. Yep. Uh, without, you know, beating it up and dragging it all over the place. You this know? thing's also got, by the way, forward reversing a mirage drive, a, a pedal drive, and it's also got the kick-up fins, which is cool. That's so, great. Uh, and, and a lot of people like the power pole. The, well, that's very nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah power pole's very cool, for <laughs> yeah. sure, yeah. Yes, definitely. <laughs> on a yak, no doubt about that, man. So, what about the seat? I, I, I noticed the seat on there. It's got a special mesh seat. Ah. Ah. Which is neat. So That's it's kind important. of it's breathable as well. So it's okay. very cool. Cool. It's the links. You'll find it at Nautical Ventures. I talked to Frank Ferraro, the uh, marketing director. He says they're basically sold out 
and trying to get more in because it's wow. so popular already. Yeah. Okay, which is great. Nuts right now. We've got like two minutes left, Joe. Let's do the uh, pre-tournament uh, chit-chat toward the end. The big yeah. day is tomorrow, man. It's finally here, brother. Yeah, so tomorrow, uh, if anyone wants to come out and check off the shoot-off in the morning, our guys will most likely be shooting off at 7.30. Okay. So uh, we'd love to see, you know, people love to come out for the shoot-off. Personally, that's my favorite part yeah. in the morning when the sun's rising. Sure. Uh, it's going to be nice and cool. You're going to see the water. Water steaming. Yeah, uh, it's it's going to be a sight to see. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> steaming but, water. Oh, it's yeah. going to be a cold day. Dude. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but we got our three uh, help boats out there, and I, I really got to send a shout out to Real Line Fishing Team. Okay. Um, they provided uh, a bunch of the help boats for this tournament. Also, my buddy Scott, he's going to be out there. But uh, without our help boats. You know we can't do this tournament. Sure, yeah. I mean yeah. it's it's the lifeline of, of what we're doing out there. So uh, to realign, thank you guys so much for uh, you know being able to kind of work with me here and with all the switching and sure. stuff we've been dealing with. Yep. They they stuck with me. So uh, thank you guys so well, much. Well, we got a minute. How about some prize money? Talk about it. Man. Yes. Okay, so please. we got first place from Real Blazer and Turbo USA, five thousand dollars. Bang! And the and just so you guys know, the awards will be happening at the pavilion right there where we're launching from Beautiful. on the south side of the pier. So come oh. on out, check it that out as well. Nautical Ventures uh, is uh, second place with two thousand bucks. Bang! Boom! We got the Nautical Ventures five hundred dollar mahi mahi division. Boom! Boom! We got uh, let's see, Nautical Ventures <laughs> donated five. 500 bucks for fourth place. Boom! Boom. Uh, we got SA Company donated a thousand bucks for third place. Boom! Boom. And uh, we got Power Core Rod and Reel made a custom, beautiful Sailfish Smackdown EKFT rod for sixth place. Up. Boom! All right, So man. we're excited, guys. Awesome. Hopefully, come on out. Come meet some of the best of the best kayak anglers from around the country. We got guys competing yeah. from all over the U.S., so all it's right, going to be great. Clock says we got to shut up, but Joe, I'll see you tomorrow. Yes, sir. Best of luck tomorrow, man. Thanks, Thanks buddy. Hope thank you guys you. do a great job. <laughs> Stephen Joe Gray, thank you. Thank Eric you, guys. Have a great weekend. Very much. You guys stick around for Sports Talk all day. Fox Sports 940 Miami. We love you guys. Boom.